right, uh, waiting to see if this thing is actually going to go live and everything is good. Okay, it looks like everything is good to go. Howdy, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the video. This is Tower Fantasy. My name is Vince SG, and in this live stream, if you're watching it later on as a video on demand on YouTube, I'm going to be showing you how I play a support type character. Now, if you're new here, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. I am on a subscriber grind this month. We got like a week left until October. I am about 100 subs away from be hitting 28k subs on the channel. So if you're new here, you've never seen this before, you like Tower of Fantasy, you like stuff like Genshin Impact like this, do me a favor and sub to the channel and then head on over to my channel and see what videos I have for Tower of Fantasy because I'm sure that you're going to find something that you will like because you like Tower of Fantasy, I like Tower of Fantasy, I upload Tower of Fantasy videos. I really appreciate the support there. Um... If you're not watching this live and you're asking yourself, when do I do go live? Don't really have a set schedule on going live. Just uh, keep it locked to my YouTube channel. Keep it locked to my Twitter. My Twitter is at BSGN Social. At BSGN Social. I think the link is in the description. If not, it's just BSGN Social on Twitter. I put all of my moves on Twitter. And you can also check the community tab of this channel. Um, you can see exactly everything that I've got going on there. Because I usually keep everybody up to date on everything that I got going for all of my various channels, not just this one. All right, so for this live stream, I'm going to run through every piece of content in the game as a support type. Um, if you're wondering about my character, I can go ahead and show you the stats of my character really quickly. Uh, right now, my character is at level 66. Uh, I have... Uh, what weapons am I going to use today? I'm not going to use these weapons, that's for sure. Uh, the weapons that I am going to use... I will probably use main weapon is probably going to be, yeah, Nemesis. Another weapon that I'll probably use on this is for support. We'll go, uh, yeah, for certainty, use absolute zero. Now, I could choose here to use negating cube zero, but I feel like I want something that's going to give me really fast weapon charge like extremely fast weapon charge so i can use these abilities and i think the fastest weapon charging or fastest weapon that i have to charge is probably going to be gurren blade the katana although if i am going to go full support here i probably should go to negating cube yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I, I personally want to use Gurren Blade for my weapon charge speed for discharges, but I'll go with Negating Cube for the purposes of this live stream. And I'll, I'll this is going to be the build that I run with Negating Cube, Nemesis, and uh, Coco Ritter. All right, so let's put some matrices on these weapons, and I'll show you what I do here. Now... I feel like the weapon that I'm going to have out the most, or the weapon that I should have out the most, is going to be Nemesis. So I think I'll save Nemesis for my Pepper Chip set. Uh, so for the Negating Cube, what will I do here? Okay. I use Barbarossa with this one. Barbarossa's chipset, SR chipset, upon switching to the weapon, gained 50% damage reflection for 3 seconds. Uh, cooldown 30 seconds upon switching to another weapon, gained 20% damage boost for 5 seconds. Now, I would love it if I could use Zero's chipset for this, but I only have one of these. This game is really not that good for giving you SSR matrices, so I'll have to make do with what I got. So I'll just use the Barbarossa chipset for sure. And again, I'm just going to be playing support. So only thing that I'm really going to be looking to do is just heal people and keep people alive as much as possible when I run through every piece of content. Alright, so on Negating Cube, I'm going to be using Barbarossa chipset. Now on Coco Ritter... Using a discharge skill to switch to the current weapon grants weapon charge. Yeah, I'll probably use Echo and Homesick for that. Or not Homesick, but Uproot. I'm sorry. So I'll put 
Echo's chips on this weapon. I definitely need to upgrade this chipset because it's really low. Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. Where is Echo? I'm going to put that there. That's Pepper. All right. Now, for Nemesis, 100% going to be Pepper. And Pepper's chipset nonstop increased speed of obtaining weapon charge by 10%. So, uh, I think that's definitely the move that, that I want to do right there. Alright, so now we got the weapon chips all situated. Uh, let's go and see what relics that we're going to use. So right now, the relic that I have equipped is the hologram projector, which is not that good for support. Um, I'm thinking in this spot. I'm thinking, I'm thinking Kuant works in this spot. All right, so we've got some crew stuff going on. What's going on with daily? I can donate to my crew. Mushrooms, I got mushrooms. I gained some merit there, nice. Now let's see what's going on here. Nemesis wants to talk to me. Let's see what she has to say. If I could be a human again. Uh, of course. I know there's no going back. I'm just saying if. If only. I will think about this if. I will think about the feelings taken for granted and never cherished. If I could be human again, I would like to feel the sensations with my own skin. Cozy wind, cool water, warm sunshine, fluffy puppies, and kittens. If possible, your hands too. That would come true, surely. I think she likes me. Even if it may only happen in my dreams, if I could turn back into a human for just a short while. Although there are so many things I would like to do, even if only for a little while. Sweet dreams, surely. Now, is that all she has to say for me? I think so. All right, so I got some mail. Whoa. All Whoa. They gave us some mail mail. Okay, we got 200 dark crystals. You love to see that. All right. All right, let's see what's going on here. I've got some rewards. All right, Ada Cafe is ready to go. That's cool. But first, let's see what rewards we got. Okay. They need to give us more of these, like, honestly. All right, uh, so let's go back to the Ada Cafe, and let's do this. Wait, did she say anything special? As long as it's sweet, it's the best. Okay, so she likes sweet stuff. Roast suckling pig, steak with mushroom sauce, juicy meat sandwich. Spicy burger, tomato fried egg, red wheat bread, meat and potato stew, barnacle seafood pizza, sizzling meat. Uh, I don't have anything sweet for her, so I'll just give her a suckling pig. Uh, roasted drumsticks, simple power salad, balloon, fruit salad, fries, meat bun. Okay. Nothing sweet that I can give her there. Seafood soup, steamed egg with sea urchin, sea crab soup, seaweed egg soup, breakfast cereal. She's definitely getting the breakfast cereal. And dessert, uh, fruit cake. We'll give her a fruit cake. And then we have sweet pomegranate juice. Let's see if she likes what I have to give her. And she did not like it. That sucks. I didn't have enough sweet stuff for her. All right, who's next? Uh, hello, everybody that's in the chat. How you doing? Um, let me know in the chat if you guys can hear me okay. Let me know what the volume situation is like. And if you're watching this as a video on demand, don't worry. I'll get to the content as soon as possible. Uh, this process seems to be interesting. Does she have anything specific? Okay, no. So I'll just give her whatever. And hopefully, she'll like whatever I give her. Uh, seafood soup, I guess. Give her a fruit cake and give her a drink. Let's see if she likes it. And she liked it. Let's go. All right. That gave me more points. 
All right, one more customer. Uh, Huma, does she say anything? Hmm, I think I smell the fragrance of nuts. I don't know, she likes something nutty. Let's give her this, see if that works. Uh, I don't have anything with nuts in it here. Balloon, balloon fruit salad? No, simple pie. Okay, we'll give her that. Soup. Breakfast cereal, dandelion, mushroom soup, black moss soup, steamed egg, sea urchin. Okay, we'll give her that. And then jam on toast, caviar potato balls, jam on toast. Now we can give her a fruit cake. I don't know. I don't have anything with nuts in it. Uh, all right, she's not gonna like this. I'll be surprised if she does. Yeah, I didn't think so. But hey, at least we we got to 900 and we can claim our reward. So we've got 50 crystal chunks, provides 20 XP for advanced equipment, and then we get these matrix data packs, which I definitely need those. All right, GG's. All right, uh, I think we have an Ada Cafe, that, not Ada, but uh, yeah, we have one of these that we can go through. Mia's Kitchen, so let's do it. Uh, can you guys hear me in the chat at all or no? Because I asked earlier if the volume was okay but i didn't get any response so can you guys hear me or no i used to min max these but then realized you get enough points without giving them what they want oh yeah okay Crap. People are saying that the stream is frozen. I am so sorry for that. I hope it comes back. Well, this sucks. I wanted to do a Tower Fantasy stream, but it looked like I might not be able to do it. we back is it good let me refresh because it's not showing for me on my uh, open widget here all right how about now are we good to go I just refreshed is it still frozen What about now? Are we good? Is it done doing whatever it's got to do? Because YouTube is showing green. OBS is showing green. Are we good? I don't know how many of you are still left in here. Is it good? Can you hear me? Can you see me? I'm looking at it on my, uh, my own YouTube window and it's showing fine. Is it showing fine for you yet or no? Okay, some people... Okay, re try refreshing for the people who says that it's not good because Adam is reporting that it's good for him. So it might be good. It's looking good on my end. It says excellent, so everything should be... Okay, it's good. Everybody, thumbs up. All right, awesome. 
I apologize for that. I was on 6,000 KBS, I guess, and that was wrong for the live stream for this because my computer is just not that powerful. And would you say, oops, there it goes. Okay, so it's good. I thought you said there it goes again. So it's fixed? All right. Snaps all around. All right. I hope that didn't screw everything. Well, that actually screwed everything up for... People who's going to watch this later on as a video on demand, they're going to be like, this stream sucks. I'm not going to watch this. But for the people that are watching, uh, hopefully I can. Uh... Damn, bro. I hate that 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 did that like that. So now this live stream, whenever people are watching it, like when they find it, it's going to suck. All right. Well, let me try this. Let me show this again. I'll show you what weapons I'm using because uh, it probably screwed up before. I'm going to run all support. And it's going to be... I'm going to run all pieces of content as a support character. So, actually, let me uh, change my match settings to uh, Benediction. So, it knows how to properly place me. Uh, the weapons that I'm going to be using for this set is going to be Zero's Negating Cube, Nemesis Venus, and Coco Ritter's Absolute Zero. The uh, weapon matrices, the chips that I've got on all of these for Nemesis, I'm going to use the Pepper Set because this is going to be the weapon that I'm going to use to get my weapon charge so I can use the discharge skills of my other weapons. On the Negating Cube, I've got the Barbarossa chip set. Upon switching to the weapon, gain 50, but I have it at 2 stars, so gain 62.5% damage reflection for 3 seconds. Uh, cool down 30 seconds. Uh, upon switching to another weapon, gain 25% damage boost for 5 seconds. So I'm going to be using that. And then for Coco Ritter, I have on the Echo chipset until the end. It's going to a uh, 3-piece set. Using a discharge skill to switch to the current weapon grants 80 weapon charge. So use discharge skill. I can get weapon charge so I can do something else. Alright, uh, for the Relic, I'm just going to use Kuant. I've got the extra little Kuant shield there. It just gives me an extra. It's not even that good, but it's something. Uh, so I'm going to run through all pieces of content that I have to do for today. I'm not going to do these ruins because they're actually really freaking annoying. Where's my controller? All right. Uh, chat. If you guys can tell me what's the audio situation, can you actually hear the background volume of the game or no? Because I can't hear that. I'm 100% dependent on you to tell me that information. Get all these materials from my various houses. We gotta check the paw house. You're not getting any game audio? You can't hear the game? Okay. Thank you. That means I gotta turn the game up a little bit. Alright, I turned it up pretty loud. So let me know if that's too loud. Like, I turned it up as loud as... Well, not as loud as I could put it, but I put it up pretty loud on purpose. Just to see. I'd rather, like, put it down a little bit. So, can you hear any of that? First streams are always kind of rough when it uh, comes to uh, the technical side. It's at a good volume. Now, are you just saying that because you can actually hear it? Or can you hear it too loud? I want it to be perfect, not just you can hear it, you know? I want it to be perfect. I want a nice, even mix. I can't I can't judge it myself, so I'm, that's where I need you guys to, like, really tell me if it's perfect. Not too loud, not too quiet. All right, good. All right. So I got to get out of here and go do my bounties. 
I might have to put on a weapon for the bounty. Actually, I got Nemesis. I should be fine. Where is... Where's the ship? Bro, am I faded? Where is the sh Oh, I'm in build mode. I'm tripping. Alright, let me leave build mode. Hello, Rogue. It's hard to tell without fighting something if the sound is okay. Right, that's why I was trying to make a lot of sound effects go off. So you can hear the sound effects. Maybe I should have did like a test stream before. I'll probably have to end up doing another support stream. I want to put this information out there. Let's just hope that whoever comes across the stream later on will understand the rigors of uh, trying to stream without like a super powerful setup. Hello, Majin Cream. Welcome. Alright. Okay. So now let's do the bounties really quickly. Okay, so we've got a bounty that's right next to us. All right, let's go to it. All right, so uh, chat, as you guys are watching, uh, what uh, weapons do you like to use? Ooh, I gotta get the honey. What weapons do you like to use the most in Tower Fantasy? What's your favorite? My favorite weapon right now oh geez this guy came over i didn't want you to come over my favorite weapon right now has to be balmong like i'm not really loving the dash motion with balmong but i think Dal it has one of the best animations second only maybe to the gurren blade i think gurren blade has a really nice animation all i wanted was to get the oh is he is he is he leaving Okay, bud. You got it. I'm not sitting here messing with you. I don't have a weapon that can kill you right now. So you basically have it. I'm in love with Huma. Just traveling with her is a lot of fun. Now, are you talking about the uh, the glitch? The Huma mount? Or are you talking about just running around with it and seeing like the weapon in your hand? Hold on. Primal dream. Oh, looks like I finished the the bounty. I got a gold nucleus for that. Nice. While you guys are typing your responses to the question I asked, um, yeah, I definitely think that uh, my favorite weapon is Balmung. I enjoy the way Balmung looks. I like the, the combos with it. I don't exactly like the way Frigg looks. I think Frigg is sort of like the ugliest character they've ever made. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I think also, too, that they really uh, they don't show a lot of love to uh, the male avatars as far as cosmetics and designs because some of these male avatar like costumes and clothing they just look really bad to me i rarely do the glitch because it's random but i do just shield pummel every enemy i see i see what about you naimani i know you were one of the big advocates over on my main channel when i was streaming apex you wanted to see me do this game, so I, I really, really appreciate it if you uh, be active in the chat. I'm headed over here to this other bounty.
At least I think I'm headed to this other bounty. Is it over here at this? Yeah, it's over here at this. I thought so. My fault, I'm on the phone. Okay. Adam says, haven't played since the first week of the game's release. To be honest, just ran like crap on my PC, so I'm sticking with PS5 games until I slowly save it for gaming PC. Understandable. Yeah, I'm using Merle's S3 skin because male avatar ugly and also very quiet when fighting. Oh, shit, I don't want to do that. Yeah, I have her uh, her S3 skin as well, too. I don't know. I, mean, I thought I would like Merle a little bit more, but I feel like I am... I don't know. She just... Reminds me too much of a Genshin Impact character. Where is the thing at? Am I faded? Did I completely pass it? Oh, it's it's not in this. Oh, it's over here. Okay. I thought it was in there with old girl, but I guess not. Do you think they go at this to console? Gonna add this to console? I mean, I hope so. They ha definitely have enough money to add it to console because they made, like, I think they made some crazy, like, million dollar, like, amount when the game first dropped, like, the first month or something. So they definitely could, but I haven't heard any, any chatter about them putting this on console. I do know that Bandai is coming out with their own game that's sort of like this, and I'm pretty sure that's going to be on console. Am I thinking of Noel? I'm thinking of a mix between Noel and uh, and Chong Yoon. That's what I'm thinking of specifically. That's why I, th I thought I would like her more, and it's just, I don't know. I want to see more unique stuff. Like, she's one of my favorite weapons for sure. I love great swords in any game I play, but I don't know. When I when I think about a game like this, I want to see stuff that I haven't seen before. And I, I think that's why I like Balmung so much. Because it's definitely something that I haven't seen before. The weapon combos and the animation with Balmung is just amazing. All right, so that bounty is done. Now let's go take care of this bounty. I would certainly make it would certainly make it put it on console eventually. Yeah, for sure. Now this is a random question. It doesn't have anything to do with Tower of Fantasy, but um, have how many of you have uh, watched Cyberpunk on Netflix? I watched the first like two or three episodes. I didn't think I was gonna like it as much as I did, but it's oh shucks. But it actually wasn't bad. What do I gotta do here? I hope it's something down here that I can fight. I hope it's not up top. You have it? Oh, I definitely suggest watching it. I don't I don't suggest anime that much because I'm just very picky about my anime. But right off the bat, when I first saw it, yeah. That that anime it struck me as what anime could and should be. Cause I think too often in anime, all they do is give us this uh, fairy tale type stuff where everybody's just laughing and joking and making, you know, just like little kid stuff, you know. And I think Cyberpunk is definitely not a little kid's anime. Like right off the rip, is blood and gore. And everywhere you look, it's just adult themes. I was kind of hesitant about watching it, right? Because, um... I knew as soon as good, I got the, the black gold. I, I, I knew I was going to want to play the game. Because I'm the type of guy, and I don't know, you guys like this too. Are you the type of person that if there's a game based on whatever anime or, or show that you're watching, you will have to play the game? I feel like I'm like that. I thought I was going to be like that. And I kind of, like, I looked into the cyberpunk game. It still doesn't appeal to me. Even though the anime is fire. What's it about? Um, I I mean I guess I'm only a couple episodes in. It's just it follows the the storyline or the life of this kid named David Martinez, and um, he's human, but he's slowly like getting these like mech implants. I guess which is is prevalent or dominant in this this universe that he lives in. Everybody has these implants. 
and uh he somehow gets his hands on a very rare sort of like implant i guess that goes up his spinal cord that lets him like stop time essentially or go so fast that it looks like he's stopping time and it's pretty powerful so that sort of gives him an edge over a lot of different people and what it looks like from the episode three it looks like it's just going to be him doing like a bunch of crime I don't know, it could like mold and it morph into something else, but that's what it looks like so far. I mean, I like it specifically because of all the violence, the blood, the gore. I think that's what anime should be. Not a bunch of characters screaming Yosha at the top of their lungs. You know, I would like to get into AOT, AOT too. I've seen some of the really cold ass fight scenes that it has. But I haven't watched it yet. But definitely it has some cold fight scenes for sure. Alright, I think this is my last bounty. And then I'll be able to get into some content and I'll be able to heal some people. So the first piece of content I'm going to do first, I'm going to do the, uh, the operations. The studio shows to animate it was odd. I'm not a huge fan of Studio Trigger, but it looks okay based on the trailer. I think it looks good. It reminds me of like Akira, you know? Fist of the, well, not so much Fist of the North Star, but yeah, it just it reminds me a lot of Akira. How Akira was kind of lazy with some of their animations. It kind of looked weird, but at the same time, it had a lot of depth. Are you gonna do the three, two, one chest method or last chest only? I I have no idea what you're talking about. So if you could give me some uh, insight, I would really appreciate that. If you're talking about the operations, I'm gonna open the chest as normal. Is there some sort of uh, like extra little? secret that you can do if you do the chest out of order or something all right and there's my last bounty completed all right now let's see Now what? Oh, we have three pieces of content today. Nice. So we can go for the Huma chip, the Samir chip. We can go for the Cocoa Ritter trip. I would really like that. And then we could also go for... Yeah, I think this is what I do. I grind this because I've already got one of these. I would love it if I can get a second one. And I have none of Meryl's chip set. So I'm going to go for this one. Wait, hold on. I have to use an item in my inventory. I use one of these joint supply chip one after use the next three times open of consuming vitality for opening the joint operation box will double the chance of obtaining master equipment and ultimate equipment. All right. Probably going to have a, a Q timeout. Deep sea proving ground. Uh, it's been proven that joint operation chests have different rates. The last chest has the highest drop rate. Special fall is the system of where your chance to get gold is guaranteed in six chests. Really? You know, it's funny. I've never gotten anything out of the last chest. I've gotten more stuff out of the first chest than I have. Like, I never get stuff out of the last chest, actually. So that's crazy. I'll do both and see what happens. Like, I'll, I'll get the first chest right here and see if something happens. And then the next time I'll do an operation, I'm going to do two operations. Next time I'll do it, I'll just open the final chest. Also, gold mattress mattresses is guaranteed in 33 chests so people either do last chests only or last to first only 
You know, it's crazy because I think I just noticed somebody do that yesterday. Like, they, they would stay in the operation and they would go back to get the other chest. Alright, I actually hate this guy, so I hope we can finish him quickly. I hope the people that are on my team are DPS demons, which they probably are. Alright, let's throw some heals out there. Make sure they all stay healed up so they can do their thing. And it looks like we have one person that's not DPSing like at all, so that's no bueno. Alright, let's do this. Give everybody a shield. Oh, what? We have another? Okay, cool. Alright. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Let's hit this. Make him go a little bit slower. Fantastic. So far, so good. I did it today and got gold belt from last chest and then 3 2 for gold arm break thing. I don't have any butt left. Okay. Yeah, I really don't have any problem getting the armor. It's just the mattresses that I really want. Like, I'm pretty good on armor for sure. Yo, this thing's already dead. Wow, we have some DPS guys. Alright, so let's try this. See what happens when I open this one first. I have an SR weapon chip. Like I said, that's... I usually get, like something in that first chest i don't know maybe it's just my luck but i normally always get something in the first chest uh you need more chips yeah i definitely need more chips i wish i would have known when i started playing the game that there was going to be like a shortage of materials to like level up your stuff because I tried to level up as many, like, all of my SR weapons, right? And now I've ended up to where most of my weapons, they're just, I, they're under level. Like, right now my weapons should be, like, 120. I don't have a weapon that's 120. Now, this chest usually gives me absolutely nothing. Yeah, absolutely nothing from that chest. I can't wait till I can actually do a little bit of whaling on this game. Because I love how the weapons have different designs on them, man. I absolutely love how the weapons have different... Alright, looks like I'm finally in. Lag spikes all around. Lag spikes all around. I apologize to that chat. Alright. Looks like it sorted itself out. I blame Spectrum, you guys. I blame Spectrum. At least we have good DPS in here. They really don't uh, need me that much. These guys are crying. Alright, so let me give them a little bit of heals. A little bit of healing orbs. Okay, good. Now we can just do this. Fantastic. Oh, and I can hop on? I probably should let one of them hop on, but it is what it is, right? Let them do damage while I'm doing this. Okay. Alright, so I've got a discharge ready to go. Probably, I mean, I really don't really need to use it. These guys are kind of OP. Very fortunate this is my first run. Now, I believe they're going to knock him down ASAP, so. Yep, they knocked him down ASAP, just like I thought. So, let me go ahead and do this. Throw out those healing orbs so they can feel comfortable in the fact that they've got healing out. Probably should have. That's what I wanted to do right there. These guys are good. I'm enjoying playing with people that are actually amazing. Wow. I did not mean to hop up there again, but it just sort of happened. 
Yeah, I have level 30 to 40 match seeds on my main three weapon because I'm severely lacking match to upgrade them. I hope that when you filled out the survey, you told them about that. Because at the end, they asked you that question about, you know, what you would change, giving them feedback or whatever. And I definitely told them, like, look, this is what the problem is. I don't have enough materials to upgrade my stuff. So it'd be great if you guys could up the amount of materials that we get. Okay, I got boots. So nothing gold. All right, so now I'll go and do the operation, and I'll try it exactly like you said at 3, 2, 1. But that wasn't a bad run. That wasn't a bad run. They actually made it pretty easy for me being as OP as they were. All right, let me see. Uh, how much do I have left? 90? Okay, good. I have 90. So I can go do it again. Actually, I should have just stayed right there. All right, so let's go back again. And this time, I'll do the 3 two, one method. Yeah, I asked for more materials, more VIT, and a guaranteed pity for limited banner in the survey. Yeah. Yeah, I, I asked for a bunch of things. The main thing that I really asked for is stuff to do with Artificial Island. And I am so let down with Artificial Island. At the same time, I love Artificial Island, the build mode. It shouldn't be that you have a chance to get one of the items, right? Like, if you got to wait for a week for bosses to spawn... I think that when you get your kitty house to level 5 or level 7 or whatever it is, that whatever that weapon mattresses, the SSR weapon that's in there, I think you need to be able to get that. It shouldn't be a chance for you to get it because you got to wait and do all this waiting to get it. It's not like you can spam it because you have a limited amount of materials. Like these guys are usually pretty good about letting people play their game and getting stuff in their game. So. Yeah, I think that's definitely an oversight right there. They need to just let you get the tips for sure. Like, I was so let down. Like, I was so excited. I was like, yes, I finally got my, my turtle up because I wanted the, the zero chip set. And I was like, yes, I finally got turtle house to level five. I can go and get the chips. I was so excited for that. And then I was just super let down. Right. Keeping everybody alive. I like it. Let me switch back to Nemesis and just keep the heals coming. You know the one thing that I do like about doing these uh, higher higher end operations? The DPS is actually insane. You know? DPS is actually insane. I try to, try to out DPS people when I do this and no. No way. No way can I out DPS anybody when I do this. Because everybody in this that's DPSing no matter what operation, if it's the higher level one, they're, they're frying stuff. The only way that I can out DPS anybody is if I go to like the, the lower tiered one, the one right below this one. And I think it's just because my weapons aren't leveled up like as high as they should be. Like these guys probably have like 120s on their, their main weapons. Alright, so you said uh, in the 3 two, one method, if you get gold on a chest, you can leave and do another run. That's, that's true. So that definitely makes a lot of sense. Uh, let me ask you, uh, Aichi Nimoto, I'm sorry, my, I hit the microphone. Are you new? Because I don't think I've ever seen you before. Like, are you? did you just like come by my channel today or have you been with me for a while? You've been subbed? This is my favorite part of this operation. All these robots right here, it's just such meaty damage. So, uh, Namani, are you you're still sticking with this game though, right? Like, how often or how many hours a day would you say you play it? I think these guys are doing the three-two-one method as well. I 
I probably play this game more hours than I sleep. And mostly that's because I am trying to make content for the game. So I probably play this game the most. And I'm hoping that my grind on this game will definitely pay off. I'm new. I've seen uh, some of your videos and shorts. I've watched a few videos yesterday, and now your live notification got me here. Awesome. Now, which shorts did you see? Uh, because I, I didn't know at first when I started making those PvP shorts, the ones that have, like, a lot of views. I didn't know that they put bots in the game for PvP. So a lot of people were giving me a lot of flack for the bots. And I, I genuinely am, I apologize if I if I pissed anybody off with those those shorts like that. I thought that I, whenever I was fighting those bots, that I was actually, like, destroying people. So you can imagine, like, how, like, happy I was. And I was like, damn, this is easy. I'm whooping people's ass. But I didn't know that there were bots. And I don't, I, like, I don't know. I have a hard time finding information in this game. Like, the information for Artificial Island, the build mode, I had no idea where to find the information about the respawn i didn't know you could scroll down on the information tab of artificial island i had no idea so i know some people were probably like i don't know i just don't think it's that serious for people to like leave hate comments i play this shit once every two or three days oh i see so you're not like a uh an avid player of the game what game do you spam the most nowadays uh naimani Where is he? Oh, there he is. Give everybody a shield. Do this. Uh, yeah, those are the shorts I saw, but I checked your page and watched the zero videos. Awesome. I'm super glad you watched the zero videos. I did put some PvP matches of me actually, like, fighting real people. I'm not sure if people watch those or not. Hello, Kanashi. It's been a long time. Yeah, you stopped uh, coming to my channel, man. I don't know what happened. I I didn't go anywhere. So it'd be awesome if you, you came on back and checked out some of my content and left some comments on the videos because I've been grinding this game every day. Okay. I haven't got a chance to use this yet. I'll probably be able to show more of my support whenever I do a raid, because DPSing, I mean, these operations, the high level, these DPSs are insane. And it's such like a, a change night and day. When you do an operation that's below this one, the randoms that you get in these operations, they're completely trash. But when you do these uh, high, uh, high operations, for whatever reason, your randoms are actually amazing. I can't handle PvP, it's too hard for me at 120 milliseconds. I don't watch PvP either, oh I see. I, I haven't been in the PvP mode since like my last video because I heard that people are really cheating in PvP. All right, so this is the three, two, one method. Let's see what I get. Let me move this microphone. Okay, so, hey, look at that. I got a gold. So, so you're saying that now that I got the gold, I should 100% dip and don't go get the other chest? Or should I go and look at the other chest? I'm still checking the content. I haven't been playing TOF at all. Been busy since I uh, won't be playing anytime soon. Oh, I see. What's up, NRG Reese? So I think I dip here, right? And then go to another operation and hope for another, another chest? I really wish it would have been a, uh, a, a weapon matricy, a weapon matrix chip. Okay. He says, yeah, I should do another run, so that's what I'm going to do. I spam JOs and little. What are you saying, Naimani? I know I see you play, uh, what's that game? You gotta get away from this guy. Get away from me. He won't leave me alone. Is he gone? Oh my god, yo, he's still following me, no way. 
There's no way this thing has this much aggro. He is actually following me to the ends of the earth. That's so wild. Alright, let's get another run in. Oh, right, I forgot I brought myself some drinks. Uh, so, what do you guys feel about the raid? Or the raids? Oh, joint operations in the void rifts. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about games you play on PlayStation. My bad. Uh, Kanashi, yeah, that's exactly what we've been talking about this entire time since, uh... You weren't here. But I appreciate you trying to give me the heads up. That's what we were discussing um, since the start of the stream. And how you do PvP, you can only do it at certain times of the day. It's called uh, Apex League. You can always challenge somebody to a PvP out in the open world, and they have a chance to accept or decline. But if you want to do, like, the actual PvP, it's only open at a specific time. I'm on a weird server. So mine's only, like, from, like, midnight to, like, noon. And I can't PvP outside of that time. So when I wake up in the morning, that's my time to PvP. But I'm so skeptical about the PvP in general because of all the, the hacking stuff going on. I never know if I'm going to face a hacker, so I leave the PvP alone. I would like to do the PvP, though. Because I think the PvP videos are probably some of the best on YouTube for me whenever I can show the PvP. Alright, so it looks like my teammates are going to need some healing. Yeah, this guy kind of got stuck inside that boss's AoE. Nothing I can do about that. He just has to learn the boss's uh, patterns or whatever. What I can do, though, is throw him some heals. Let's throw that out there. And I need to put out an electrode. I recently just got her full awakening. So we get healed for 200% of attack right now, which is just insane. The healing is just off the chain. I wonder if I should make like a separate video like showcasing what the heals are with full awakening doesn't have to be a big video what your opinion on the upcoming update um you're talking about the desert island right is it vera i can't wait to see and i hope they give us a lot of rewards because right now i'm at a spot where i don't think I'll be able to drop any more money for gotcha games. Like, I actually have to start making money more than I spend it now for a certainty. So, it's going to suck if I can't get the new character. And I think the next character coming is like the, the rabbit girl, right? With the little rabbit ears. I think she's going to be a very cool character. And I really want her. So, I hope they give us a lot of rewards. Um, so, I can, I can, you know, wish for her or summon for her. Because I definitely want her, like, really, really bad. Throw out the AoE heals. Throw out some more heals for the friends. Alright, and then let's go back to Venus. And just get that weapon charge. I think we'll give everybody a shield right here, too. There we go. Uh, what do you think about the upcoming update there, uh, Kanashi? you have any opinions, any thoughts on it? Anything that you're hoping to see? Oh, shit. I didn't get the fuck out of the way. That's unfortunate. I had, honestly had no idea that he was going to do that. So that's my bad. I wasn't even paying attention for real. Let's go throw some heals over here. Feel like somebody needs it.
Uh, I don't know if chat like froze, but I don't see any any responses or anything. So I apologize if you're saying something, you're typing, but I don't see anything. The last thing I see was Kanashi's question. So uh, my apologies if you're you're talking or typing. Uh, it says I didn't really look into the upcoming update yet, but from the trailer, it looks pretty fun to explore the field. You know what I think looks really cool. And I, I, I'm very curious as to what they're going to do with this. I saw it on Twitter. They uh, showed the uh, little cyberpunk city. Have you seen that yet? I honestly don't know what they could do with that to make it like super interesting. It looks really cool. I just hope there's going to be enough reason for us to go into it and do stuff there. You know? It's going to be like a, one of the new hub worlds. Now let me ask you guys this, have you done all of your side quests, or are there still some side quests that you haven't done yet? I, uh, there's a couple side quests that I still have to do, and I'm just not doing them. And there's still a bunch of quests for Artificial Island that I haven't done, as far as map completion, I don't know what I'm waiting on. I guess every time I'm done ma with making content, I'm super tired, and I just pass out, I crash. So I never get to do any of the uh, the extra stuff that I need to do. You gave up on the side quest? The last side quest that I finished was the girl at the beach. I gave her some stuff and then she got sick and like, I don't know, she exploded into a bunch of green stuff. I've done all my side quests except for Artificial Island. Yeah. Have you done the, uh, the little... The little things where you need to have another person with you to do it. I don't know what they're, they're actually little called. I've only done like two or three of those. I think Artificial Island is really good though. I like how... There's always something to do. Doing the 90s, doing the 60s. I think those are really cool. Uh, the gates or the co-op chests? No, the co-op chests is what I'm talking about. The gates are definitely super fun. Still waiting for people to tell me if the gates reset or not. I think they reset. I think they reset. Cause I'm pretty sure I, I I'm I'm pretty sure that I've done the same gate twice. And I know I've heard people saying that they were farming for uh, ooh, gates that drop. Uh, oh gosh, gates that drop a specific like weapon material. Nano boost gates, I guess is what they're called. I had to think about it for a minute. I opened some co-op chests with a hologram, but I don't think it's worth the effort. Oh, you know what? I didn't even think about that. Yeah. You could probably do the hologram of the chest. I need to spam world bosses. Yeah, I've only fought the dragon one time. Everybody that be trying to fight the dragon, they really be faking for real. Like, they'll be in their, uh, you know, the world chat or whatever, and they're like, hey, we, we're doing the dragon. And they'll be saying how they have so many people here for the dragon, then I'll join up. And there'll be nobody there. And everybody just gets folded. So I'm just like, okay, this is pointless. Because I know that once you defeat the dragon, don't you have like a chance to get a SSR weapon now? But uh, you know, before I forget though, uh, Aichi, I just want to say thank you so much for uh, stopping by and checking out the live, man, and watching the content, bro. That's awesome of you. Alright. So the DPS on this one's not going as fast. We have a guy who is standing still. Alright, let me go ahead and throw some orbs out there for people. 
I'm waiting for a weekly reset so people will do more dragon. Yeah, I've been world boss scam before. People just using me for free teleport. Yeah. All right, so he should drop pretty fast. There, no, he didn't drop yet. Somebody's gotta hit him. All right, there he goes. All right, so let me throw this down there. You're welcome. I'm kind of addicted to this game and YouTube, so I'm always watching vids and live. I'm at EXP cap already, so not much in game for me to do. You know, and here's the thing, right? I found out that I find there's a lot to do with the game. Like, it's not like, Genshin, like obviously there's a limit to the stuff that you can do, but it's not like Genshin Impact where the limit is instantly. You're instantly limited. Like I played Genshin Impact today to uh, to make some videos or whatever, and it's just like I hopped on, spent my resin did my my dailies and that was it i mean i still have some stuff in sumeru island or sumeru to do i haven't done like like i'm not even done with 15 percent of sumeru so i guess i really can't talk but uh as far as stuff to like help advance your character there's it, it just ends way too quickly i guess is what i'm trying to say and i like this game because you can do a bunch and even when you spent all of your vitality, you can still get support points. You know? I think that's just awesome. And I heard that they're going to add a Battle Royale mode to the game. Like, I saw, like, a clip of it on Twitter or something like that, where there's going to be a Battle Royale mode that's actually... If that is going to be, like, an actual thing, that's going to be super freaking cool. Aside from crystals and food, those support points max out at 1,500 per day, so it's kind of easy to hit that. I still, I hit it. I hit it once before, and the only reason I hit it was because I was farming, uh, not farming. I was making videos. And I was trying to get like good DPS. That's the only way that I hit it. But if I'm not like trying to like make videos and get good DPS, I probably won't. I won't max out. I will. Uh, I will. I will crash. I'll be super tired and I'll go to sleep. I definitely don't complete all operations and just everything in one day, unless I'm trying to farm for a video. It's not like that with Genshin Impact, though. I will, I will run out of shit to do instantly. Uh, let me ask you this What is your least favorite or the one that you hate to do as far as operations? I Hate the hyena arena operation so much That is probably the worst operation there is All because of that stupid guy with the unicycle He moves around so much and it's so hard to like hit him I mean, you can trap him with Meryl's ult, but when that guy starts moving around, he starts moving around. Very frustrating. Oh, it sucks. Okay, finally. I'm half excited for the Battle Royale. They make the grapple auto-aim in the main game, too. I saw some Battle Royale gameplay, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I half wish that I was, uh, that I had an account on the, the Chinese uh, server or whatever, man. Because it kind of blows whenever something new comes out. Those uh, YouTubers that are in the Chinese, whatever, they, they get it at ASAP. And they get all the views. So it's kind of hard for me to, like, make some content. But I think uh, I found my niche. I think my next video is going to be a comparison video. Uh, what two weapons do you think I should compare? Like, I was going to do 
Balmong versus Gurren Blade or uh, Claudia, because I'm in love with both of those weapons. They're my both my favorite. And I was gonna like see which one is actually the best. Do you think the 2.0 patch is going to give us some more ways of farming Master Seas? I hope so. I definitely hope so. I think that if more people say that in their survey, then they'll probably they'll probably be more inclined to listen. They'll definitely be more inclined to listen. Because I definitely want more ways to uh, farm mattresses. All right, let's see what I get. Uh, for joint ops, I don't think there's one I hate, but I don't do anything but space time and deep sea now. Okay. All right, what do I get here? Boots. Okay, so I got nothing. So do I go ahead and get all the other chests now? And uh, thank you for coming through, Guns Heal. I appreciate the uh, support there. Yeah, I did the survey like three times and said so every time that there aren't enough ways to farm mattresses and matrix sets. For a certainty, bro. It, it, were you as let down as I was whenever I did Artificial Island build mode and I wanted to get the SSR chips and you find out that it's just not like that you you literally have to uh wait I might not be able to get these uh I might not be able to get these I don't think I have enough left watched your human video today and you got my sub thank you bro appreciate that I love my humor awesome yeah humor was the first uh my first favorite weapon in the game It fast to run a new joint operation if you get nothing in the final chest. Oh, so don't even do these. So so the three two one method is just not even a thing. Just get the final chest and dip. Hope you get the 30k soon. Awesome. Yeah, I hope so too, man. I hope this game can do it for me. Some people do last chest only and some do 3 2 one Let's see. Well, I've got some uh, dark crystals. I was going to gonna buy uh, some stuff anyway to recharge my vitality. So I really want that chip. Yeah, man. I saw Majestic's video. He tried 3 2 one method for three days straight. Oh, jeez. I really don't watch uh, a lot of content creators for this game, man. I, I gotta be completely honest with you. I don't even know who the content creators for this game are. The only one that I really pay attention to is, uh, what's his name? Game Geki. The 3 2 1 is a thing. I got a lot more gold gears from this method and it saves time. Okay. Uh, thank you for that tip. AOI AO Oni. This is my first time hearing about it or, you know, and I guess that's because I don't I don't watch YouTube for this game. The only information I have comes from my viewers, honestly. Like I don't even watch YouTube videos for information on how to like open like chests. I I usually just look at the internet. I'll Google I'll Google whatever the uh, the number is. Your RNG is crap. Yeah, so is mine. Also, you can still play on the CN server. Really? How do I do that? Do I gotta be? Did I get a VPN? I watched Gateo mostly. He mains on the CN version, and he's in Leviathan. Okay, I've heard of him. I think I see his videos pop up from time to time. I think I watched Vulcan's video on Artificial Island when I was extremely confused about how to get to Artificial Island because I didn't know how to get there. I was only doing build mode. So that first day, I was like, wait, am I not in Artificial Island? 
and I had to watch his video to figure out what I was doing wrong. And ultimately, his video didn't help me at all. Okay, looks like I ran out of stuff. I got a dip anyway. It was some random person's video. And it showed me that you had to go to Bangs to use the, the airship. I had no idea that you were supposed to get on the ship and go there. I honestly, the first day, I thought that I was in Artificial Island. I didn't know that build mode and Artificial Island was two different things. I felt so stupid. Alright, so... Oh, wait. We can upgrade some vehicles? Let's go. Oh, I'm about to hit 60 and get 40 more of them things. Okay, so actually, I can just do this, right? I need four more of these little cog wheel things. Let me go get those. Hold on really quick, guys. Oh, I can't even get four more of those things. Bro, I thought I had more support points than this. Holy crap. What do I need now? Bro, I can't even afford four of these. Okay. Oh, I can special order something? Oh, let's go. Hey, how many SR, SSR weapons have you got from the, the Black Nucleus? Bro, that's one thing that I... Hey, Kanashi, thank you for the $5 donation. I didn't even see that until just now. Thank you, bro. That's what's up, man. Actually makes my day. All right. So nothing from that. That's that's fine. I'm right, we'll gonna go my backpack and uh, use one of use these, and then use that. All right. Let's go back into it. Kanashi with another $5 donation in Super Chat. Let's go, man. Thank you. Hey, can I get some thank yous in the chat for Kanashi, bro? That is such a cool dude. Thank you, man. Do I, do I have like a little thank you emote? Yeah, I can do that. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you. Uh, I've only been lucky with Black Nucleus pools. Got three Merrells and two Humans from them. Nice. I don't remember exactly what I got. I, I tweeted. Every time I got something from Black Nucleus pools, I always tweet it. I don't remember what I got, but I got a lot. I think I got like maybe three or four SSR weapons so far now. I've gotten two Zeros and one Shiro only from that in my whole time playing. I don't even know how many pulls I've done. Yeah, you do a lot of pulls. But, to be fair, you can get a lot of Black Nucleus, though. Thank you guys for helping me think, Kanashi. Alright, looks like this guy is ready to go in there. I'll go. <laughs> Vanessa, hey, what's going on? Thank you for coming to the chat. He says, how are you guys so lucky? Is it really luck or is it more just a, a grind and it's eventually going to happen? I think it's more of a, a game of probability than luck. Because... It's going to happen one way or another. You're going to get an SSR from Black Nucleus eventually. You just got to be patient. It's a mix of both. Definitely a grind. Yeah, for sure. And I enjoy the grind, man. I remember when I got my first SSR pull from the Black Nucleus, bro. I was so happy because I was grinding the crap out of this game that night. Oh, man. I might have played this game for like 12 hours straight. Like, not even, not even Captain, bro. I might have played this game for a legit 12 hours straight. And all I was doing was trying my best to, uh, 
to get black black nucleus. That's what I was doing. I was running around the map trying to get as many as possible. And you know what's what's wild? And this is I guess what I get for not watching people's YouTube videos. But you know on the mini map, the little gray squares, how those are exploration points or whatever, and they signify a black nucleus. Tell me why I didn't know that <laughs> for the longest time. Like, I absolutely had no idea that's what those gray squares were for. So I had so many of them saved up. And when I finally realized it, like, I don't even think, I think I found out that information on accident. Our third person didn't load in. This is great. Yeah, this is chalk. Our third person didn't load in. So I'm dipping too. Black Nucleus dare to scratch my summon itch. Yeah, for sure. It's good for saving red pools. Man, every time I get one of those red ones, I pull. The only time I do a 10 pool on the red ones is if I buy a 10 pool. That actually broke the bank. Because I wanted to get Gurren Blade so bad. I literally spent... A very precise amount of money like the last bit of extra money that I had like for free I spent all of it trying to get Gurren and I eventually got Gurren or I got Claudia and I got Frigga at the same time and I was so bummed because as a youtuber I definitely wanted to have all weapons and I was super bummed that I wasn't gonna get Frigg I, I knew inside my my heart that Frigg was just gone because I couldn't pull for it ever I didn't have the money And then when I found out that Claudia was coming, I I put everything together to get that. And then it just so happens I was so lucky that on one of the pools for, you know, the nucleus or whatever to get uh, Claudia, I got Frigg instead. And I was like, all right. And then I did so many pools of red nucleus and didn't get Claudia that I was able to actually purchase Claudia. And I think that is so freaking cool. I think every gotcha game should follow that same formula, bro. You pull so many times and you get a special currency that allows you to just go and get the weapon that you're looking for. If you fail that many times here, you've been building up currency in the background, you can go get the damn weapon. I think that is freaking amazing. What, what is this? What kind of shadow clone jutsu? All right, let's go. Uh, let me know if you guys got an ad. I haven't hit the ad button in a very long time in live streams. I saw that I've got 24 people in here. I should probably hit the ad button to try to get some revenue coming in. So let me know if you got an ad. I, I don't know if it actually works. Uh, you got Frigg on Claudia's banner? Yeah. I got Frigg on Claudia's banner. The damnedest thing, bro. And you know what? What's, what's even crazier about that, too? Is whenever I was doing Claudia's banner, when I got to the, to the pity, which is what I was hoping for, I just knew that on the pity, I was going to get Claudia. You know what I got? And I was so mad because I spent money that I really just didn't have. I got a Coco Ritter. And I was like, what is this? Why am I not getting Claudia? I'm at the pity. This should be the character, bro. I was so mad. And then I instantly got unmad because that's when I realized I could just go and buy the weapon. I mean, I'd already gotten Frigg, so I wasn't that pissed. And I was like, well, at least I got Frigg out of the deal. But I really want Claudia so I can make videos. Not all gotcha games, but some of them has it. And it's amazing to have a glimpse of, yeah, a glimpse of hope. Yeah, it is. It definitely is. Like, I don't know what Genshin Impact is doing. Like, I think Genshin Impact is sort of on top right now as far as these types of games. Like, they're the top one. 
What are they doing, bro? Haven't they made enough money? They should make it easier to get characters, I think. Everybody left? Oh my gosh. What's with these snowflake people and them dipping, bro? But then my luck kicked in and I got Cloudy on my second single pull. Now that is super lucky. I've got some stuff on single pulls too. That's my third Honkai Impact ad in the last 30 minutes. Oh, word. You've been getting ads no matter what? I, I uh, haven't hit the ad button until just now. I re-rolled my account when I got Coco on the Nemesis banner. <laughs> I, don't, I don't mind getting more Coco. She's a healer. And, um, you know, all of, it, all of it's good to me, you know? All of it's good to me. Let me ask you this. What rare weapon do you like the most? For me, it's got to be the EM Blade. Oh, this guy's good. He already put him in Fantasia. Fantastic. Alright, let's keep whacking at this thing. It's called Vulcan. Alright. I actually hate facing this thing on the, uh, what is it? The Frontier Clash, is it? I have a hard time remembering the names of these different pieces of content. I refresh the stream often because I'm using Google screens, so I get mandatory ads. Bro, I love EM Blade. I wish it was SSR. It's just better than Crow. Yeah, I love it too. Damn, my team is goaded, bro. Like, they are on point with the dodges, bro. I wish I could dodge this well. My dodges suck. Like, I'm sitting here trying to make a... Uh, trying to make fortitude videos on being a tank or whatever and i feel like when you are the tank bro it's up to you to keep aggro and you got to be able to dodge so you can trigger fantasia every single time and it's so hard for me to do having three dodges kind of sucks i want more uh i like the hammer the animation of and the complexity of the moves is just so good for an sr weapon yeah it is really good when i first used it for a video because that was the only time i was going to use it for a video i think a couple weeks ago i was like damn this thing is how bro they gave this weapon a lot of crap for it being like an sr weapon like there's so much you can do with it so yeah i definitely can agree with you there i actually practiced my dodges in bygone boss levels i've gotten quite good oh really yeah i guess that makes sense you can practice dodges like that I bet you'll be a pretty good shield breaker. It's got way more move sets than any other weapon in the game, right? Yeah, there's definitely a lot that you can do. Like, I, I, I don't know. I was just really surprised that they gave that much, like, to such a such a low like low level weapon. The SR Hammer can solo carry bygone levels with 60% damage buff. It has an infinite dodge attack mechanic. Does it? Maybe I need to take a, a closer look at it. I've only used it like twice. I definitely gotta look into it a little bit more for sure. Like, I, I promised myself that I was going to make a video on it. I just never done it. Because Claudia came out and I just kind of got interrupted. But I'll definitely have to look into it. How to use Pummeler. That should be good, right? 
how to properly use Pummeler. That'd be a good video title. The hammer is my budget Meryl. <laughs> Not much, but it still gives me damage reduction and a one-time damage negate. For sure. I'll have to check out the description after this. I'll be honest with you, when I first started using it and I started looking at all the crap it can do, I was like, yeah, I'm not reading all that. <laughs> I said, yeah, I don't know, I'm not reading all that. Uh, let me ask you something, Vanessa. I don't think I've recall seeing your name. Um, did you just happen by the stream just now? Or uh, have you been a, a member of this channel for a while? Like you You've been watching my videos and stuff. Now, I got another question for you guys, too. Is there one weapon that you just haven't used yet? I think, for me, there are a couple weapons that I just never touched. The one that I can think, like, right off the bat that I've never touched is the giant cannon thing. Oh, yeah, you just joined now. Okay, so you just found me through the stream. Awesome. I really appreciate you coming through, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. I hope I'm, I'm able to uh, just provide you some good quality content. I was using the hammer, my third weapon alongside human Meryl until I just got Nemesis. Yep. You don't have a single copy of King? I got three of them. And you know what's even crazier about that is I didn't even like King. And it was simply because everybody was using King. And everybody was always telling me, you should use King. King's got good damage. He's the best for shield break. And I was like, oh, okay, okay. I'm not that guy that uses the same thing that everybody else uses. That's just not me. But then when I started using King, I understood. God. King is such a good weapon. When I got his S3, it felt like I was playing a brand new game. What's up, bro? How's your solo content this team set up? How's their solo content for this team set up? Uh, what do you mean? Are you asking what my weapons and stuff are? I can show you after I'm done with this operation. I actually just want him for the Sephiroth skin. So you're not, the, I'm not the only one that thinks that skin looks like Sephiroth, right? And you know, bro, so whenever I saw that skin for the first time, I thought it was a reward that you got from like exploration or something, right? So I'm like, damn, how's everybody getting the skin? And then when I got his S3, that's when I was like, oh, that's where they got it from. His voice lines are so freaking cool. Like they're literally the best in the game. Now I mean, how are you doing with solo content for those weapons or do you change your weapons for solo? Oh, no, no, I definitely change my weapons for solo content. This is specifically for uh, being a support online with people. Um, for solo content, I usually run a um, b uh, balance. I run balance. I want one from every weapon. A shield breaker, a support weapon, and a, uh, a DPS weapon. Yeah, there's no way I use this for solo content. No way. No shot. There's not enough damage. You'll be there all day long. And, uh, welcome. I'm sorry I can't pronounce your name, though. I'm just gonna call you H2K or HK2. Can I do that? <laughs> Bro, this guy already has 21 mil damage out. I guess it makes sense because, uh, nah, that doesn't make sense, bro. How has this guy got 21 mil? That's ridiculous. I feel like the other two are like, kind of like I would be right now because I feel like they're doing DPS. Like, they're probably doing their damn thing, right? 
instance. I know there have been operations where I'm doing the fucking the most. But the guy that's in the lead, there just ain't no way. How the hell do you have that much damage? And I'm doing good. Like I'm getting, like I'm looking at my numbers and I'm seeing like gigantic, like 117k damage, right? And I'm like, damn, bro, I'm doing damage. But then I look up and this dude's already at like 40 mil. I'm still sitting at like five. And I'm just like, how the fuck? Oh, I see. Yeah, no shatter too. Wish I can have mini weapons as well as so I can change. Uh, well, you know, uh. I think the game is really good on giving you those weapons. You just gotta go and collect those black nucleus. For sure. You'll get an SR SSR weapon at some point in time. And you should definitely, definitely, if you collect all the black nucleus that you that they give you, you 100 percent should have all of the SR weapons. Or and the rare weapons. Like actually. I kinda regret not using my SSR selection for King. I never thought the game would just never give me him. Yeah, I use my SSR selection for Meryl, and I was really hoping that the game would just eventually give me Samir, and it never gave me Samir. I think I had to spend money, like I had to spam money so I could get Samir. The game was not giving me Samir, bro. I had to force the game to give me Samir, and I'm, I was kind of pissed at that, but then... Once I got Samir, I don't even use it. I don't even like the weapon. Like, I, I don't know what it is about the Samir weapon. I don't even like it. I think whenever I see people jump up in the air and turn backwards, like I've been spammed by it so much in PvP, it made me hate the damn weapon. Yeah, the problem is upgrading them, though. Right? What's going on, Crypto Seizure? Like, I don't know what they got going on. Upgrading the weapons is ridiculous. Like, I have enough to get a couple of weapons. If I take all of the stuff that I've done so far, I could have, like, two or three weapons at level 120 right now if I really wanted to. But I wanted to level up a bunch at a time. And that just did not work. Okay, I got no gold. So it looks like I'm Dipski. I used my SSR selector for Meryl's S3. Been rocking her black dress ever since. I also have Smear. The air combo is just not for me. I don't like it either. Of all the animations they could have gave her, they could have did something better than that. I think it looks stupid. Like, I, I actually think it looks stupid. But, nah, look at, look at my weapons. The strongest weapon I have is uh the gurren blade of claudia and that's just because it was brand new and i wanted to make it as strong as possible i've been like in the back i've been trying to make this weapon as strong as possible when i know i need to like get my main weapon stronger i really want to get that as strong as possible uh, i have been neglecting my bows do you guys use the bows i don't use them at all i started i i put this on for, for the first time and I was like damn this is kind of cool these uh combat blade whatever these the, the animations look kind of cool weapon probably sucks though I didn't really try to fight anything with it EM blade is definitely like my favorite for sure out of the the rare weapons or whatever all right let's go try this again I don't think I need to use one of these right Let me I used it anyway. All right, let's go back and try this again, bro. I I want this 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 weapon chip, bro. I I want this really bad. <laughs> I wish the game would give it to me. Like this is crazy. Uh, bro, what chips do you run on your DPS setup on weapons other than Humas? Oh, oh man. If it's DPS, I honestly um. Shucks, bro. I have a couple of different ones. It depends on the weapon for sure. Like, I get good DPS with Claudia if I use the Sobek chipset. I get good DPS with Claudia if I use a hybrid of uh, Claudia's own chipset with Humas for the bleed. Um, 
Yeah, that's good. Um, but mostly though, for main DPS weapons, I use I use Pepper because the weapon that I'm main DPSing with it's the weapon that I have out the most because I feel like it, and tell me if I'm wrong about this I feel like you get more damage from from discharge skills than you do from like spamming attacks so I feel like I feel like it's like smart to use that with your DPS weapon like I think the the weapon that I have the most success with DPS wise is Thunderblades. Like whenever I really want a DPS, I'll use Thunderblades because of that little spin attack that goes down. That shit, it's 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 OD broken. Like it's it's OD broken. Like low key, that's the most broken shit in the game. The uh, th Thunderblades for that little downward spiral attack or whatever. I don't know if they're gonna nerf it in the future or whatnot, but I think it's broken. So I put Pepper Chip Set on that, and I get weapon charge really fast, and then I'll go and use a discharge skill and just get damaged. Because I can't tell you how many times where I will be behind, like I'll be on top, and then some guy, he's working his ass off, and he fucking just jumps in front of me, right? So I switch over to my whatever weapon I'm spamming, my DPS weapon, and then I'll switch over, and I'll spam that, and I'll get my discharge for Huma. And then I'll hit a discharge skill, and there's like a group of enemies. And guess what? I'm in the lead again. Because I just hit like 90k 12 times. You know? So I don't know. I, I feel like that's the way to DPS. Yeah, discharging skills have way higher damage scaling. They nerfed the dive attack. Oh, they did nerf it already. Oh, that sucks. I haven't used the... Uh, ever since I got Claudia, I, I haven't used Pro. The Thunderblades. I, I, thought he's amazing. Is A30 a huge advancement? I gotta check, but I'm gonna say yes. I forget what is what is three is, but if I remember, I might not remember exactly what it is, but I remember reading it and I remember thinking like, yeah, this is this is this is good. And if anything, you get his white suit. And I think his white suit looks freaking amazing. Like, <laughs> they might have, like, really, like, screwed over the designs for male costumes that you can get for your avatar. But when it comes to male characters in the game, I think the male character designs look better than the female character designs. At least for right now. What's the, um... What's the chick that has the robot arms? I think her name is Lyra, I think. I think she's got the she's gotta be the coldest looking female. Like for sure. When it comes to like just just looks and pure aesthetics, I think she's gonna have the game beat. Like right now, I think the coolest looking female in the game is definitely Nemesis. She's got everybody beat by a mile. She looks the dopest. Um But when when that chick comes out. She looks like a nun. Oh my god, bro. She looks fucking awesome. Uh, I use C1 Frig for Ice Resonance. It makes my C6 Coco Discharge Heal Overlap Ultimate Skill Damage of this Vulcan. Whoa, really? Oh, you know what? I haven't really looked into uh, Baomong like that Frig. So she does have a, a, like a Frost Resonance, Ice Resonance. I was actually looking for today, or yesterday, I was looking for a weapon that had a, a fire resonance, a flame resonance, and there isn't one, is there? A30 has a self-heal and lower skill cooldown. I'd say it's a huge support power spike. Yeah, it definitely has self-heals for sure. Yeah, that is insane. He's got a maxed out Coco. That's awesome. Wish I had a maxed out anything. I don't know what to get since my zero is A2 and Tsubasa is A3 and I can get either A3 zero or A5 Tsubasa and A6 Tsubasa is way too good. I would say go for the A6 Tsubasa. I mean, well, I, I'll say it like this. Which do you use the most? Because if, it, if I had to answer that question for myself and I really wanted both of them, I would just ask my, which one do I use the most? Which one will I use the most? And for me, not to like try to inform your decision, but 
I'm choosing Zero all day long. Call me biased, but I think Zero is the coolest character in the game. I love Zero. He may not be the most powerful, and that kind of sucks because I wish he did more damage, but I still think that he is the coolest character in the game. 100%. He's the coolest. So I, if anything that I can do with Zero, I'm freaking doing it. I even really enjoyed his little storyline when you awaken him. He's got the funnest storyline when you talk to him and stuff. The guy's a dick. He's just like me. <laughs> and then he, like, becomes nicer and stuff like that. He, he sends me little gifts and stuff. I like Zero. He's a cool character. Annabelle and Lyra have got nothing on her. Wait, what are you saying, Gun Heels? Oh, bro, check the new Frost character trailer on CN. Oh, word? Now, I might have seen it before because when this game came out, I used um, Game Geki's. I went on his YouTube channel and I did, like, it was my first stream that I did. And we checked out all the characters that they had on CN. So I don't, I don't know, is, is this a brand new, new character? Like, it just came out? Thank you, NRG Reese. There's no Fire Reso character, but Ruby is the poster girl for 2.0 and she's Fire. Oh, okay. Now, Ruby is the girl with the little rabbit ears, right? This game is nice. Even a low spender like me can obtain something good for my friends in a party. Yep. And that's exactly like the, the whole like pull of this game. You can definitely just like get stuff. Like it's not like, like you're not gated, you know? You're just not hard stuff. Cause eventually you're gonna get it. Like I regret spending as much money as I did because I eventually got everything that I wanted. Most of the time it was with free pools, but sometimes I had to like force it to happen. But most of the time I got stuff with free pools. Like I got zero with a free pull. Grinding my ass off one night. For I think I might have had three or four sleepless nights where I stayed up for like 12 hours straight. Just grinding this game out, doing the missions, collecting stuff, collecting more stuff so I could... Oh, he died. Collecting stuff so I could get pulls and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, I grinded, and I pulled, and grinded, and pulled, and I got everything. Everything that I wanted. Oh, she hasn't launched yet? Yeah, that's Ruby Laser Balloon. Yeah, she looks super dope. I like her character design. Alright. I gave myself a shield. I'm not sure if I gave everybody else a shield. They weren't close enough to me to get the benefit of the shield. I will and can throw this down. Okay, come over here by me so you can get the benefits of my heal. If you get 200% healing when you're next to me. Why do I have to make a new person when I try to change servers? Because they haven't initiated the, uh, the server like switch yet. They're working on it though. They're working on it. I was going to make a video about it, but it just seems kind of pointless because probably a bunch of people already made videos on it. But they are working on it. They say that the reason why they haven't made it yet is because there is a security issue with people's accounts. I guess when they do change, when they do have like, whatever they're doing that they have to do for that, there's a chance that account information can be leaked and people can get their accounts taken or something. So I guess they're they're working on a way to ensure the safety that that doesn't happen. But they're working on it because everybody's talking about it. I personally want to change servers so bad because when I first started playing the game, all the American servers were full. So I had no choice but to play on some random ass server so I could play the game. I wasn't going to wait for nine hours to get in, you know what I mean? Uh, she has heals for weapons. What do you mean? Oh, she's called Elise? Is that the rabbit girl or the fire girl? Our uh, rabbit girl is the fire girl. Are you talking to one that, that looks different rather? That looks cool. Yeah, unbound accounts are very vulnerable. It was an issue in the CN version as well. Let's see. You know, I I don't think they were ready for how popular the game was going to be. Like, I wasn't ready for how popular the game was going to be. I didn't think that many people were gonna like really like the game. You know? So whenever I saw those server queues, I was like, what? That's wild. Okay, I purposely didn't press the button so somebody else could hop up there. First time I ever did that. I usually like hopping up there, but I know I can deal 
they could probably deal more damage than me. I'm not in damage roll right now. Yeah, Unbound, okay. The new Ice Girl, okay. So you say she's the one that looks better than, than Lyra, right? I gotta check this out. I've been calling this the best game of this year. Such <laughs> well, you know what? I While people may disagree because of the game's many flaws, I, I don't think that it's a prerequisite for a game to be flawless to be the best game, right? The prerequisite for the game to be the best game is how often do you play it, you know? Like, how often are you on the game? Are you on this game as much as possible? Are you thinking about this game when you're not playing it? Are you pissed when the game is under maintenance? I think those are the prerequisites for best game. I have games that are way better than this, but this is what I want to play. I love this game, pretty fun. For sure, Black Yoshi, for sure. I'm 100% I'm with you there. All right, if they can pick up those little green baubles. All right, and give everybody a shield. Uh, it was too late, I couldn't give her the shield. Get up here. I can throw some heals for you, though. Give you 200% healing. Yes, sir. You're on the game every day, right? I don't think since this game has come out, I don't think there's been a day where I haven't picked it up and played it. Just hasn't. I play it every day. And when I do play it every day, it's for a couple hours a day. And when I say a couple, I, 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 I mean a lot. Darn. No gold. I could do this all day. I want to get that zero chip, bro. I need to get that zero chip so bad. What server do I play on? Ah. Uh, mm. <laughs> I have no idea. Hold on. I think I can check. Uh, it's It starts with an A. It's just some weird Southeast Asia server. Uh, let's see here. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm on the Oriza server. And I, I guess I'm in I'm in Southeast Asia, bro. Like, it was the only one that I could really get into that, that first day. Uh, I, I'd i be totally satisfied with this game if there was guaranteed pity on limited 160 pools for no copies is really devastating. If I wasn't able to buy the banner weapon in store, I'd probably have uninstall. Yeah. That's definitely a nice touch to be able to buy the weapon. I wish they would lower the, the prices on, on mattresses, though, bro. Like, honestly. Like, that's the only, that's the only gripe that I have about the game is the ability to get these SSR, like, mattresses, bro. I've been grinding this domain or this, um, whatever. I've been grinding this thing. Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want to do that one. I want to do this one. I have been grinding. I have been grinding this Deep Sea Proving Ground every single time that it's been up. And I only got the zero chip one time and that was like last week and i got it and i was like completely surprised i never had a problem other than people ahead on day one couldn't get in servers and getting uh stuck on his story quest i never got stuck on a story quest but yeah getting in day one was terrible so far, everything has been smooth. I've never seen a phenomenal wave like this before. Some Japanese streamer streamed this game three days ago. He hunts world bosses with his friends for one day and many hours. Wow. There was a 12-hour wait time on my server first day and six-hour wait time for the first... Yeah, I was streaming that first day, and I was late, too, because I was at the store buying this controller and uh i got back right as the game went live and i had to set my stream up and stuff and uh yeah 
I went to the to the North American server that I told everybody I was going to. Yeah, no. I think it said something like six or seven hours. And I was just like, nah, I'm good, bro. People came to watch my stream too. So I just picked a server. Got in. I actually had some of the some people from the chat help me and tell me which servers were, were good to go. Chat's always been super nice for this game, bro. I really appreciate you guys being super cool. So thank you. I don't know if you guys noticed it, but um, I don't know most of you guys probably just joined just now. But uh, I was able to up the quality of my video. Like I didn't know that I could put my videos in 1440p. You're gonna, you're gonna, wanna, you wanna hear how stupid I am and how untech savvy I am. Uh, so I didn't know that I could put my videos in 1440p because I thought to do that I needed to get a more advanced video capture card. I thought I needed to get like the next version of Elgato. I, I don't I forgot what the the HD 60s. Like I was like, oh, I can't get higher quality videos unless I get an HD 60s or whatever. So uh, I didn't know that I could just literally just render them in, in better quality, and I didn't figure that out until yesterday or not yesterday, but like uh, five or six days ago. So the quality of my content compared to like the first couple of videos that I made versus like the last couple of days, you, you should see a dramatic increase in quality. Thank God for YouTube, right? I looked at some guy's video from like 2012. God bless him, bro. Because uh, I literally typed in YouTube like Sony Vegas fuzzy pixels better quality like I, I just typed that in and I was like I, I hope this works I I need something because my quality is trash and his video was the first one that popped up and he was like okay guys I'm gonna help you figure out why when you upload your videos in 1080 you still get fuzzy quality and I'm like wow this is exactly what I wanted so uh, he, his video showed me exactly what I, I had to do. And ever since that day, it takes a little bit longer to render videos for sure. But it um, definitely pays off. Thank you for still being here, Adam. Appreciate you. It's just been a blast even watching my own videos now. I used to never watch my own videos. After I make them, I just let them go. But now the quality is so good. Like, I'll watch my videos over and over. It's gotten to the point now where I kind of want to make a video that I myself would want to watch, you know? Like a no commentary gameplay of one of my favorite characters, you know, just going through it. I'm a tech illiterate. I could never understand how graphics and bitrate works. So I always just follow YouTube videos and people showing off their settings, right? Yeah, I, I, I guess I was kind of slow on bitrate too. Because I think what the, the main problem is I had is... I was kind of like messing up on my bitrate because I like you I took someone's suggestion like I looked at one guy's YouTube video on how to upload 1080p videos whatever and um, I took his word for it and I just started making videos like that I didn't research it any further and I just thought that my quality was trash because my Elgato was not you know the, the 4k Elgato or whatever What's my overall stats? Uh, what do you mean? Are you asking uh, about this? I'm in the middle of an, uh, a boss fight right now and I'm kind of the healer. I'll show you more of it uh, after this is over with. All right, let me see if I can give people a shield I can. All right, everybody has shielding. Good, good, good. All right, and now I can throw out my electrode. Let me ask you this, chat. This is sort of an interesting question. Do you have a character that you think looks the coolest when they use other people's weapons? Like, what's that character for you? For me, 
I am completely taken away by how Zero looks whenever he uses Claudia. But at the same time, too, nothing beats King using Claudia. Once I saw, especially S3 of King with the, the Sephiroth looking thing, bro, when I saw that, bro, well, that's so freaking cool. I still think Zero is my favorite using freaking swords and stuff. Like, Zero using using Frig, so freaking cool. I still haven't tried uh, Frig with, with King yet. I think that's probably going to be the coolest. Uh, nah, it's okay. I was just wondering since your healing is high. Uh, yeah, my... I have the Awakening of Nemesis. The second Awakening. So she literally gets 200 healing with her Electrode. I've got S2 of Coco. Which I got that on accident. Let's see if I can throw some heals out there and get these people back to full. They're going to get healed 200% of attack. Why isn't this chick being healed? She wasn't being healed. I was trying to heal her and she wasn't being healed. But thank you for noticing, uh, Nato Reyes, that my heals are pretty high. Makes me feel good. Brings a smile to my face that you actually noticed that. All right, let's see. Can I get gold here? No, nothing. Try again. I must get that zero chipset. Uh, how come you don't use the team menu on the right side to check HP? Wait, what? What's up, Seiso Sasa? Bro, you just blowed my mind just now. I didn't even know I could do that. That actually makes a whole lot of sense. Damn, you just like... Like, I, I, I realized that, that was a thing because obviously I've been in teams before. But I never thought about doing that in an operation. I usually just look at people's health bars. Damn, you just... Wow. Completely mind blown right there. Thank you. I usually never bring that up. Like, ever. I'll do it this time. I've only used Meryl and Huma skin, so I guess I like how Meryl looks doing Frigg's Discharge. Yep. I remember when I first saw Meryl, I was really taken by her. So much so that Meryl was the SSR like selector that I chose. I had to have her. Because I think her sword looks freaking amazing. I wish there was a way that I could just make it hit super hard with every basic attack, you know? I want that sword to be a DPS weapon. I love big swords. I hope that there will be a character that comes out someday that is a DPS, that's an attack character, and they just wield a giant freaking sword. Wait, is this... This is my first time seeing this. That's that's Claudia S3. That's my first time seeing Claudia S3. Like, in the, the actual in-game. That's wild that's my first time seeing it, as much as I play this game. Oh, wait, yeah. I can bring this up. Oh, looks like... People are leaving. I, I hate people. That leave. Like, actually. Oh, let me see here. I can hit the ad button while I'm in this loading screen. Uh, let me know if you guys get an ad. See if that worked. Shucks. Uh, 
Uh, yes, you can turn it into DPS with Meryl's four star matrix. What? Yeah, I know. I, I want the uh, freak skin too. Like I always said, if I get a lot of black gold, I am spending it all on Frigg's skin. As much as I want zeros, white white skin, uh, I want I want Frigg's sword more. Her charge attack hit like a truck when you have the complete set. Really? I'm gonna have to uh, look into that. Thank you for telling me. What's the set do? Hey, Vintage, how you doing? And what kind of face cam you got? Uh, it's a Logitech? I don't think I still have the box for it anymore. I think I threw it away. Hold on, let me see. I might have the box for it still. Are you I think I threw the box away. Yeah, I threw the box away. I usually am good about keeping boxes. It's, um, the second best Logic, well, I don't know about now. At the time, it was the second best Logitech cam that you could buy. Uh, I looked at it online, and uh, I went to Best Buy, and they had all of the Logitech cams there. And there was... I think the best one there was only like a hundred bucks more or something, but I was like, okay, I don't have to spend that much money. I mean, I could have got it, but. But it's the second best. It was the second best logic. I don't. I don't know what the the thing is. Uh, why do you act? Does it look really clear or something? I was doing one of these last night, fell through the map, I was under it, sucked in the go Oh yeah, that happens to me whenever I'm doing Bygone Phantasm. The first time I did Bygone Phantasm, I got stuck under the, under the ground. But they do have like a little unstuck thing. Which I think is really good. I spent like 200 pools and only got one frig. I was so sad. I'll save the black gold for her skin whenever she goes to the shop. Oh, she's not in the shop yet? I thought she was there already because they took her banner away. Hey, uh, say so, Sasa. What do you think about the Genshin Impact videos on the main channel? And uh, do you have any suggestions for me? Because I'm I'm gonna hold I'm gonna hold just until something new comes out. I gotta upload something to the main channel. So right now it's it's definitely gonna be Genshin Impact. And I've lately I'm like right now on the kick of doing all Animo characters. I'm probably either gonna do Jean next or Kazaha. Like I'm thinking Jean, and I'll save Kazaha for last. Because I was my favorite. I don't think it's been a while since I made a Gene video. <laughs> Alright, let's gather all these bad boys up. You know, I gotta say though, um, doing this method, only going for the final chest, I like this because it gives me more like game time. You hate the Ada Cafe event? I love it. The only thing I dislike about it is I run out of like honey. Like you can't go buy honey anywhere. You have to farm honey or am I faded and you can buy honey somewhere. I don't like farming for materials. I'll do it if I have to, but if I've got the materials to like make the food, I like it. I think I like it more because it's just something else to do. That's why I like it. And I guess that's just because I've played so much Genshin Impact where there ain't shit to do. This game has so much content 
I'm not talking just for like a YouTube standpoint. I'm talking about just in game, like game modes and content. And I know a lot of it's just you're in one specific area and you just fight world bosses over and over again. You know what I'm saying? Even that though is good. And you can get meaningful rewards, bro. I, I, just, I don't know. I like everything about this game. Bygone Phantasm has 300 levels. Yeah, I heard that. And it sucks that people are like cheating and have already like got there. That kind of ruins the whole YouTube game for real. You gotta be creative when making these YouTube videos or be very quick when new stuff comes out. Alright, let me throw out some healing bobbles for people or orbs. Okay. Oh, somebody broke him. Let's go. Ah, oh, damn. I didn't mean to do that. Crap. Damn, I'm hitting some 12Ks, though. Well, one 12K. We got two 12Ks. That was nice. Let me throw out the uh, healing bee. Play everybody's still alive. I shoot cybernetic arm to dragon's wing and being tossed into... Wait, what? What do you mean, X-Rabbit? I really haven't experimented too much with the cybernetic arm, if I'm being honest. I find that I hit it on accident, and I get the, uh, the little thing when I'm not ready for it. And that kind of makes me mad, so I usually don't touch it. I think by far, though, my favorite relic has got to be... It's a, it's a toss-up between the time-space rift and uh, confinement. I love both of them. Dang it. I did not mean to hop up here. Auto, uh, cybernetic arm gets auto aim in 2.0, so it'll be much better in October. Okay, cool. What do you mean by auto aim, though? Like I, I, I understand the, the the definition of auto aim, but what does it mean for this game? Like, is it automatically gonna shoot to something when you throw it out? You no longer have to like sit there and aim it. go it will just target what you're locked on okay will that change because i don't use it to lock on to any well well i'll say it like this i mostly use it for happy over that no fucking way I just got that bro it's yo I haven't been this happy over video game in a minute man like I, I can't remember the last time a game made me this happy that wasn't this game I, I, I wow I am I am I am speechless I am without speech go see what this bad boy does if HP is less than 30% after being attacked gain a shield equal to 20% that's good I want that uh, cool down 90 seconds the four piece set increases whirlwinds damage by 36% and restore HP equal to 30% of the damage dealt while whirlwinds active 
Oh, ha ha ha! <laughs> That's what you were talking about, the extra damage. The maximum HP restored every 0 0.5 seconds cannot be... Okay, so that's actually pretty OD. That's actually OD. I want this so bad. Like, actually really bad I want this. What is this hitting me? So at least I got one piece of the puzzle. Uh, let's see. You can still use it for exploration, but a 2 it will pull you to whatever you're locked on. Wow, congrats, thank you. TF does give you that rare drop hype MMOs usually have. Genshin never gave me that hype. No. No. You, the only thing I ever got from Genshin Impact was... Fuck, man. I just spent $500 for a wolf's gravestone? Damn it! That's what Genshin Impact gave me. Ah, uh, shucks. I'm out of black nucleus. Ah, uh, shucks, shucks, shucks. Let me look at my vehicles. I could probably get something now. Okay, so I need... Yeah, I need four of these little wheel thingies. Get them my support store. One, two, three, four. Okay. Maintain. All right. Give me 40 more black nucleus. And what does that put me at? 170, so I need 30 more. What's this vehicle got going on? It's at 56. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way I'm getting to, to 60. And that needs to be seen. I'm done. Wait, what? Person just come up in a motor scooter? Uh, yep. And the heels. What did you say? Uh, edgy. I don't know. I just clicked to any space. Well, yeah, that's what I was talking about with the arm, right? Because there's that one ruins, and I guess it doesn't matter anymore. Because once you do all the ruins, you're just sort of done. But there's the one ruins that has those little um what is it it's the little platforms that kind of are moving it's the one ruins where you have to turn the little stone statues so the little thing that shoots you up in the air so you can get to that one thing like i'm specifically thinking about that and i know why it's probably stupid to just think specifically about that for the uh, arm it's used for for more but i just can't help but think about like how is it going to work with that? Because there are still chests in the hard mode version of that that ruins that I haven't done yet because I can't get to the thing. Like, I did it once on accident, and I thought I knew how to do it, but when I tried to do it again on hard mode, yeah, it didn't work. All right, so looks like I am done doing... Let's go out. Yeah, I'm all out of that. All right, so let me go to the cruise store. Uh, let's go ahead and get some special gifts. Seven of these bad boys. Let's go. I can get... I can get a new... Oh my gosh. So let's go to my... Hold on now. Hold on now. Let's go to my backpack here. I've got some... Woo! Look at all this equipment! Ah! And my boots are already like four stars so what should i enhance i should probably enhance my belt right i feel like i either i should do the belt because it's at three stars but man i really okay i'll just let i'll let you guys decide what do i level up here because one of these can go up what do i do i can either do the helmet the chest the belt which probably it should be the belt I could do the legs, I could do the gloves. What should I do here? Uh, how's the crit rolls on boots and gloves? Uh, well, the crit for my gloves, that's why I kind of want to do the gloves. I've got uh, crit, three, plus 300, plus 514, and uh, enhancement of lock, plus 85. And then I don't have any, like, random stats for it. But when I saw the gloves are how you raise crit, that's why I really wanted to, like, raise my, my gloves up. 
Now, when it comes to these boots, I don't think my boots... Oh, yeah. Oh, does everybody's random stat get crit for the boots? Uh, Griff says do the belt. And Aichi says I do the gloves. So definitely max those gloves out for the crit, right? Like, that's what I'm thinking, too. Because that's damage. I think damage is the most important. Gloves and boots get another random stat? Okay. So when I when I do this... Okay, so the enhancement of luck. Wait, hold on. Hold on. I mean, look at this. So the boots get random crit stats. Damn, I didn't know this. I wish I would have knew this earlier. And the gloves... Okay. Does all your gear have crit as random stats, or it only applies to boots? I think it's only boots and gloves. No, it's lucky to even get crit on gloves and boots random. Really? Alright, so I enhance the gloves then? Well, my boots are already maxed out. So, definitely do the gloves. So should I turn all of these except for the gloves into crystals, you think? Only boots and gloves. Gloves have base crit stat right and can get another random crit stat. Alright. I had boots with crit, all three stars rolled on HP. Ah. Well, I mean, I guess you're going to stay alive, right? Wait, before I do this, this is what I normally do. Is this right? Or am I fated for doing this? As far as recycling. I know if I had boots, I would keep the boots because they give you more XP because you're using the boots, right? You don't use the recycle? What? what? Then what do you do? You never use recycle. So what do you do with your old equipment? That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to recycle it, right? I mean, of course you could um you could use those to enhance your other pieces like like sure. If I'm going to level up my waist, I'm going to use these these belts to help level it up because you get more EXP. But if I want to just make sure We just feed all the equipment on it. Right, but if I go to these gloves to enhance, it's only going to show me the gloves. And it won't show me anything else because you can't use boots to enhance gloves. That's why I use the recycle. And I'm not going to be able to use the boots anyway because they're maxed out. I'm at max level on my boots. So it's... Right. Right, 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 right. So that's the way that you should do it? Like, that's the actual, like, method? I mean, because I, I do understand, like, yeah, for certainty, if I want to raise my chest and my chest is not maxed out, okay, I got you. So you're saying I should definitely do it like this. Make sure that I recycle 
all the boots only. And leave everything else alone. Actually, I've got Max on the wrist, so I can do the wrist. You can recycle your boot mat since it's maxed out, but you should now just focus on five stars or five fives on everything else before thinking of recycling. Right. Okay. Because my whole thing was recycle everything and make sure that whatever I want to go for next, like just focus on that one thing. So I can get the stat as soon as possible. All right, so I've got all the boots selected for recycling. Everything else is deselected that I don't want to recycle. All right. That's a lot. All right, so I'm definitely going to be able to max out the gloves. They're going to go to five for sure. All right, gloves are at five. I got 580 left. Let's see. Okay, the belt is pretty close. The chest is not close at all. Should I go ahead and do the belt next? I feel like I do the belt next. I probably can get the belt. Yeah, belt definitely goes up. That's all I can do. And then you're saying just sit on the rest, right? I'll sit on the rest and uh, just wait. All right, let's see. Simulacra traits. I think. Are you done? Shiro has a good awakening. Coco has an extremely good awakening. I don't know what Frigg's awakening is though. Increase frost attack by 1.5% every 3 seconds upon entering battle. Stack up to 10 times. That's actually huge. Icebound. Frost attack is boosted by 2.4% every 3 seconds upon entering combat. Stack up to 10 times. Last for 5 seconds. In addition, gain hyper body and become immune to control effects in the frost domain. Wow. That's good. You gonna get the uh, weekly crystal chunks? No, no. I have been trying to hoard all of my materials because I'm still not like I said. I don't watch people's YouTube videos. I've been trying to like forge my own path and you know see exactly what I think is the right way to do things. So I've been hoarding all of my materials and only using them when I absolutely need them. But for the most part, I kind of want to use those materials so I could get those uh, the mattresses. Like that's that's what I've been trying to do. I've been trying to save for these mattresses, bro. Like I, that's my first and foremost because I want to make these YouTube videos about the weapon chips. So that's what I've been really trying to save my stuff for. Because I feel like when it comes to uh... I almost forgot what I was doing. I feel like when it comes to the YouTube, like showing those builds, I think that's what kind of sets my channel. Oh, I don't know about that blink. That blink is stupid. Cool rose. Reduce frost damage. What does she do? Reduce frost damage received. 
Eh, I'm not feeling that. I think Shiro has the best, right? When Shiro uses a weapon skill, it's either Shiro or Coco. Who do I awaken next? Shiro or Coco? What's up, Tice? You've been saving for the Subasa. I have one of the Subasa chip. And I've been trying to get more. I, I wish they made it easier to get these chips. I was so heartbroken when I finally got my turtle house to level 5 and my, my like, main building to level 5 when I went to go get the, the thing and it didn't give me another one of these. Bro, I was so hurt. I was so hurt. But I do have... Oh, no, no, no. I don't have a Tsubasa. I have a Shiro. I have a Shiro chip. Not a Tsubasa. I'm sorry. Coco, if you healing. Right. I think Coco, like, as far as all the other, like, simulacra traits, I think the most beneficial, she's got the next most beneficial awakening trait. Each. Hold on. Each time Huma receives damage, gain one fortitude mark and gain one more fortitude mark if it's a flame, if it's flame damage. Up to one time per one second and 12 stacks in total. Upon using a weapon skill, use all fortitude marks and gain an HP shield equal to the number of marks times 0 0.4 HP for 12 seconds. The fortitude marks are used when the effect is stacked up to the maximum. Then gain an HP shield equal... Bro! I've never read this before. This is my first time. I don't know. It's not as good as you think. What's bad about it, Aichi? It sounds really OD. Human is shield bay for sure. This sounds OD. Why is it not as good as I think? Because this sounds... It sounds good. Anything that gives me a shield, I'm for it. Because you can't depend on people to keep you healed. You can't. You just can't. The more shields, the better. See ya, NRG Reese. You have yourself a good time, and thank you for coming to the stream, bud. Appreciate you. Damn, it's already midnight? Holy crap. Bro. Time flies so fast. Uh, Meryl shields last better. Wait, she gets a shield. Let me check this out. No, her awakening gives her a shield. She just reduces damage. She doesn't actually get a shield with this, right? Oh, and I read something about this. The air around Meryl becomes cold, freezing the water around her. Didn't they say that this didn't work? Don't you need to get hit a ton for humus? Do you have to really get... Oh, yeah, you get... Hold on, let me go back to what it says. Each time human receives damage, gain one fortitude mark and gain one more fortitude mark if it's flame damage. So you just get hit one time. So you get hit you get hit twelve times. So you definitely just have to take damage. I would love the Meryl Matrix. Yeah, I've, I just got one and I hope to get more. Yeah, Meryl's S3 gives shield. Huma's Awakening shield doesn't last long. I see. All right, let me look at somebody else. I, I, I got my eye on Coco. I definitely have my eye on Coco. Because when Coco Ritter uses a support weapon, increased healing effects, she inflicts on others and receives uh, 20%. Yeah, I, I think this, this far outweighs, like, anything, right? Is I like being able to heal people. Yeah, that's trash. What does Frig do? I I don't even know. Increase frost attack. Okay, I just read that. Never mind. And cold blooded swipe. Every seven enemies defeated by King. Uh, that's trash. Subasa rainstorm. Each time Subasa deals damage, gain one stack of fierce strike up to one stack per second. Each stack adds. 0.5% attack up to 15 stacks refreshes effect. 
duration upon gaining the effect again. The effect lasts for 30 seconds. Does this... Because I don't use bows. Does this affect other characters? Because I would only use this with Cloudy. I don't I don't use Tsubasa that at all. Uh, I wonder if they recommend Huma Awakening Conversions, though. Awakening Conversations, though. She's best waifu. <laughs> That's so wholesome. Talking about books and traveling with you. That sounds funny. Now, I didn't think about that, Demon Luck 2. King, uh, his awakening will work good with Bygone. I didn't think about that. That's definitely like some survival stuff. Every five enemies defeated by King restores HP equal to 10%. Yeah, that'll definitely heal you. But, I mean, I, you've got heals already. I mean, you shouldn't be doing Bygone without heals. Yeah, I I'm I'm thinking it's got to be Coco. I'm thinking it's got to be Coco. What do you think? Oh, Subasa's awakening works on all weapons. That might change the game. That might change the game for real. Oh, wow. I kind of like that. Let me read what, uh, read Tsubasa again. Each time Tsubasa deals damage, gain one stack of Fierce Strike up to one stack per one second. Each stack adds 0.5% attack up to 15 stacks. Refreshes effect duration upon gaining the effect again. The effect lasts for 30 seconds. And then this one, Raging Waves. Each time Tsubasa deals damage, Gained one stack of fierce strike up to one stack per second. Each stack adds 0.6% of attack to up to 30 stacks. Refreshes. It feels like you're doing heli damage with that. Mm, okay, I like what you're saying, gun heals. Uh, but Tsubasa only gives 18% damage increase, whereas Frig gives you 24% damage increase, plus immunity on all your characters. But it has to be like Frost, right? Let me check that out. I like where you. I like what you're thinking. Increase Frost attack. So you have to use her weapon or a Frost weapon. Now, does this work with Meryl as well? Because if it works with Meryl, then I'm doing this. Increase frost. It doesn't necessarily have to be Frig. It can be Meryl too. Because if that's the case, I'm 100% doing this. I can already see the video now. The best ice DPS. I'm not going to do anything until I read the chat. See what you guys say. You guys are being super helpful right now. So thank you. Yep. Tubasa's Awakening is the best DPS wise. I'm currently using Frigg's 4K Awakening. Yes. Anyone. Even Huma. As long as... Frig, it's it, as long as you're in Frig's skill domain. What does that mean, her skill domain? Frig works on all for the 24% increased damage. The only thing that don't work is the immunity because you have to use her skill to be in, in the dome and get the immune. What do you mean? Bro, I'm faded. What do you mean you gotta be in her dome?
I'm going to be completely honest with you. I didn't bother reading Frigg because I, I wasn't going to use her yet. I was waiting to read her stuff until after I had her at a decent level. She's at 102 right now. So when I was uh, I was going to read her stuff and like learn about her the next time I like was about to make a, a video about her so I could educate myself. So this is my first time reading this. This is OD. I'm going to read it and it's going to take me a couple of times to like really like understand if somebody could like dumb it down in the chat that would be awesome slash the space around the wanderer dealing damage equal to 577.5 percent of attack plus 1821 launching and suspending targets and gaining damage immunity while the skill is in use cooldown time 30 seconds after unleashing thimble winter a large frost domain will be formed around the wall i've never seen that before and i've used am i faded or have i seen it for 25 seconds dodge attempts will not be consumed while dodging with balmung within the frost domain grant domain of frost one when you are in the frost domain when using a frost weapon shatters increased by 20 what the fuck damn that shit's broken okay Frig has infinite dodge inside her skill dome. Bro, it, I've got to say, have I seen this before? Because I've been using it to farm because I just like looking at the animations. Bro, I might be faded, bro. I might be faded. I don't think, I don't remember seeing any dome pop up though. Let me see if I, if I have seen the dome pop up. I might have seen it and not known that I've seen it, you know? Oh. Okay, so this is what they're talking about. I'll be completely honest with you, I've never noticed this before. I have honestly never... I've noticed it when other people have used it. But since I've been using her, I've never noticed this before. That's wild. That is absolutely wild. That's pretty cool. So let me let me let me see this, bro. Are you serious with this? What? Get the fuck out of here! Hey, yo! Hey, I'm doing- no, no, it's over with, bro. I'm doing this. I'm awakening freak. There's no way. Nope. I'm, I'm awakening freak. That's- that's OD as fuck, bro. I'm a, what does she take? <laughs> yeah, because I, I, I haven't used her. Like, I got her, and I was like, well, she doesn't have any fucking stars. I didn't have her. Like, I just now today, I think I, well, not today, yesterday, I think I got her to level 102. I wanted to get her to 110 before I started actually, like, playing with her for real. I've only just been farming it with her, just looking at her animations and thinking, wow, this is cool. What does she take? Metal items, everyday items. It's not a dome per se. It's just a circular field on the ground. Yeah. Okay. I I, I was I was thinking that they like I I thought I was like missing something. Like I don't see no freaking dome. I use Freak's domain as a healer to increase my Coco's heal. Don't know if it's great though. Yeah. Somebody else said something about that too, Nato. The best gift is plus sixty only. I just spammed the metal box thing on her. Okay. Okay. Let's uh let's give her the metal box then. This thing. Well she don't want the cookware. Is it the cookware or or hold up, is there actual
Which, which one? Who am I picking? Oh, I'm I'm 100% Awakening Freak. 100% Awakening Freak. My better judgment tells me I should do Koga Ritter so I can get those heals. But no. No, 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 no. Freak is way too much fun. Way too much fun. There is no Beth guest either, gift either is fine. Okay. I was always kind of like curious about that. Like, should I use this one? Should I use that one? I always assumed that they're all just fine. All right, Freak. I got something for you. All right, so she's at 420. She needs 1200 to get this. Shouldn't be too hard. All right, uh, now I can go back in my backpack. Okay, so let's see here. I maxed out the gloves. Uh, I think chest. Do I do chest next? Because I have. I can go into the commissary. And chat, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna depend on you guys one more time. I can get. I can get one of these and a purple one. So do I do chest next or no? Because chest is at four stars. I've already maxed out boots. I maxed out gloves. I maxed out wrist and maxed out shoulders. Do I do chest, head, legs, or waist? Yes, I can say 100%. Uh, yes, I can 100% say playing while being CC immune is a whole different game than being... Uh, without being CC immune, you will randomly get one shot by bosses, though, since you don't realize you're being attacked sometimes. I can definitely feel that. Also, human's damage on Freak's domain is sick. Really? Oh, man. Can't wait to do some uh, tank team with Frig, Meryl, and Saki. Who's Saki? Since she doesn't consume dodges, you can charge up Huma and then switch to Axe and spam dodge attacks. Oh, that's going to be so nice. Like, I've been waiting to make that video, and I'm so glad I did wait. Because without you guys of saying something, bro, I would have made the video, and I wouldn't have known anything about this. I mean, I probably would have read it and figured it out eventually. But if I would have just gone in with this knowledge that I have, I probably would have read it, though. If I'm being honest, I probably would have read it. I would have read it and figured it out. Because I didn't take any time to read it. But now that you guys have told it to me, it makes it a little bit easier. What what do I what do I level up next? I've already got one chest. I feel like I do chest. I have no points on chest though. No points on legs. Uh, basically no points on, on waist either. Little bit on head. Fuwasaki is the girl I'm saving all my pulls for. I will only get one line. I want Lyra. I'm definitely waiting for her. So I am going to break the bank to try to get her. And I'll try to advance her. Because I think she's going to be the coolest. Oh, Linstar. Are you guys talking about advancements? Am I faded? Can't wait to see Frigg on Standard Banner. She only gets more stronger on Awakenings. Yeah, for sure. Alright, so I think I do chest.
Yeah, I think I do chest here. And now all that's left is legs, waist, and head. All right. I always love getting stronger. All right. Ugh. Shucks. I've got some more content to do. Well, let me switch my weapons back before I go in with Freak that has no... No matrices on it. Alright. Uh, challenge. Wait, hold on. Wait, what now? Bro, don't I get an attempt to Frontier Clash today? Or does that not refresh at reset too? Volt damage down. Okay. When does this refresh? Have you guys beat this yet? Because I tried once. And there's just no way. Like we in, like we failed, and it was it was it wasn't even like even close. We failed one hundred percent. Uh, Clash and Void Rift is every two days. Oh, I see. Just did a six level raid with a bunch of thirty and thirty seven k rented player player who actually want to play. Did you uh do good? Or, or did it do bad? Cause I, 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 we tried this, bro, and it just, um, the one time I tried it, it took us forever to beat Old Girl, the first one. And I was like, okay, well, this is pointless. I'm just not doing this anymore. Like, we need to be stronger. my horizons expand every time I visit a new place you need coordination with team to beat it so do you like you have to have two teams like I felt like what you're supposed to do four people go on one boss and four piece four people go on the other boss right that's what you're supposed to do yeah that's what I thought everybody went to one boss at one time and I was just like that doesn't look right. Like, I just read the rules, and everybody just came to one boss. And even with everybody at there at the same time, bro, it took 10 years for us to beat her. <laughs> you have to kill it both at the same time. Huh? None of my server well, can that? cooperate long enough, um, right? Don't worry about me. So you I definitely have to put together, like, a raid team. Stay at the boss at uh, last house bar, a uh, health bar. Yeah, that definitely makes sense. So you get her to our last bar of health, dip, and then go to the other boss, beat her down to the last bar, and then 
the 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 ray group splits up like that is that a yeah you basically need seven other friends to do this makes sense that definitely makes sense and yo what is what is going on bro what's up you oh, guys don't worry about me i can take care of myself I'm happy with my random squad because we know how to kill those bosses. Oh, so you've actually done it, uh, G Gale. Or Jail. I'm sorry. You've actually done it before. That's sick. I, I only tried it one time and it, it was a gigantic fail. Humongous fail. So much so that I was just like, I waited all this time to get into this raid for this. Yeah, no. Not doing that anymore. Most of my random teammates went to Frig while... While a whale or two fought the flying one and we were able to defeat it. Oh, I'm in a server that doesn't even use shield or tower relic to block. Oh. Wait, what? So you can use that giant shield to block a a Popis, a pop a Popovis, a Popovich. You can you can use that for that. I had no idea. I just thought that was just one really pointless relic. So that's what you use it for. Okay, that makes sense actually. Holy crap. Right, I knew about the uh, the little tower thing. Everybody uses that for I had no choice but to learn that. It works great for the dragon boss too. Man, I would love to fight that dragon boss and actually get the rewards. But they need to give you more of those gold ticket things, right? The gold chips? Like, you barely get any of those. What server do I play on? I'm on a Southeast Asia Oriza. Most of the people in my server don't even speak English. Some of them do, though. Let's check it out. Yeah, I have no idea what the fuck that even is. This dude speaking Indonesian. You killed the Dragon Boss eight times and never got a single SSR or so. Oh, jeez. Yeah, the drop rates are bad. Bro, I'm never going to get into this raid. What is actually good? All right. Well, get me out of matchmaking then. Well, this this is not gonna happen. Let me go back to build mode. Uh, I've killed the dragon. Okay. Uh, this map. That's his map coordinates in his system's language. Oh, his system's language? Oh, I thought that was him, like, that's his, like, I, I mean, I know that's his map coordinates, but I, I thought that was, like, his, like, what he has, like, I don't know. The way, language he speaks or whatever. Oh, 
I think you can get three gold boss chips per week. Yeah. And you that's the only way you can get them is through that little... What is it? Through through this. That's the only thing. What is this? What is this thing even called? Weekly? They don't even actually have a weekly activity. Okay. Through the weekly activity, you can only get three of them. They need to give you ability to get more of those. For sure. I know somebody told me that I can easily collect these a different way, but... Call me crazy. I like running around my... I like running around and, and seeing all them, like, scurry around and stuff. I think it's cool. I am actually, like, really bummed out. I'm gonna go try this again. I think I have enough materials to where I can go try for another... Try for another, uh, zero chip. Instead of renovating. All right, see ya, Adam. Thank you for uh, hanging out, bro. I appreciate it. You have yourself a good night's sleep, man. Bro. I hate this so much. It shouldn't be a chance. Like, I got all these materials, oh, and I feel like I should do me. something else with I them, but I myself. want this. It looks like I have five chances to get this. So, what do you think? I would not try the crafting until you're at level nine. The rates are way too low, really. So, you think in five tries, I still won't get it? usually just afk here it is quite cozy am i faded or do the animals respawn like every hour actually i can check that yo tell me why i did not know you could do this this little scrolling right here everything i didn't know you could today. scroll let's go out so I was complaining on Twitter. I was complaining in the chat. Like, where did they put the information about the respawning? I found this by accident. That you could scroll this. I had no idea. Uh, this is the fire chick you guys are talking about, right? What's her name? She's got little rabbit stuffed animal. She looks so cool. I 100% cannot wait to play as her. I don't even like female characters like that. But I'll play with her, though. What? What did you say? Gateo already did the level 9 crafting three times in a row and never got it. He said it's like a 30% chance at level Everything 9. Seems fine today. Wow. Let's go out. All right. Thank you, Gun Heels. I appreciate you coming through. Yeah, her name is Ruby. Ruby. I can't wait to get her. Animal mob spawn every three days? Really? So I guess I just am missing... Nah, nah, no way, bro. No shot, no shot. If I go down here, these little fucking walruses are gonna be here. What are they? Fucking sloths? I feel like these things are always here, no matter what. Oh, I guess you might be right, yeah? Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, yeah, they're not here. It felt like it was a time when I was coming over here. And they were always here, like no matter what. So you're saying for a certainty, I shouldn't even try it? That I should just go ahead and renovate? So even five tries is going to fail? You need to kill everything on that place? Yeah, for sure.
Animals and mobs spawn 72 hours exactly after you kill them. Gotcha. I know about the seven days with the bosses. That's the only thing I was really, like, trying to find out. I was really surprised when the mobs spawned on me two days ago. It was two or three days ago the mobs respawned. I was kind of surprised about that. So, for a certainty, I should just go ahead and renovate. Yeah, just level up to nine first. You need god luck to get it at level five. Alright. Fuck, bro. You don't know how bad I want them damn chips. Alright. Uh. Shit. So what do I what do I do here? Okay, now let me ask you this. Cause this is where I feel like I messed up the first time. But since you say it doesn't matter until you get to level nine anyway, if if I want to one hundred percent get the chips out of the turtle house, right? Should I like focus the turtle house? Right, I, I get it. Upgrade the main building. Should I 100% focus the turtle house? Because when I first started doing the, the island, I, I got all the buildings. And I feel like that was a mistake. Because I could have used those materials to enhance my turtle house faster. Demon Luck says, yeah. I feel like the move right here is upgrade the main building, upgrade turtle house, upgrade main building, upgrade turtle house. And that'll help me to get to my goal of zero chips faster. Is that right? Or is that, is that kind of like, is that stupid thinking? Because they only give you so many mats per week. I think that's so stupid. So if I try to like split all of my renovation materials up, I will, I'll just, I'll be going slower. And I'll, I, I think it's probably better to like be able to get one high level to accomplish that at least before doing the others. Right. I, I got you main building then all over the houses. I got that. But what I'm trying to say is, because uh, I'm trying to make YouTube videos about this chip. Right? And I'm trying to get this chip as fast as possible. So if I level up, if you say level 9 is like what what you need to get to, should I try to get my turtle house at level 9 as fast as possible? I never thought of that, but it depends on how many mats you get because you're forced to level main building each time and it costs a lot. Right. So if I use those mats on all these other houses that takes away the mats that I need to, to raise up my turtle house, which is my goal. So it just seems to me it makes more sense to focus on main building and this one. I'm not saying that would be like the good thing to do for everybody, but for me specifically, I want to get that chip set so I can make this YouTube video about the zero chips because the, the game's not giving me these zero chips, bro. I, I want these zero chips super bad and the game's just not giving them to me. Like, I got one on accident, lucky one day. They have different mats for upgrade, but some have the same. I mean, but they're all going to take... Hold on. What I'm saying is, like, look at this. Each building is going to take these little wooden jobs, right? And you only have so... That's the one a material that they all share in common. That and... What are these little... What, what the fuck are these? The wooden ones and, and these ones. You only get so many of the wood... Oh, what, what the fuck is this shit called, bro? Let me go look at this shit. Okay, yeah. These quality building materials... You only get so many of those every time. You think it'll hurt me in the long run? Uh, I only got four SSR chip of me. I'm getting everything to five, then work on one to level nine, which is Coco chip set. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, the boss match. You only get so many of these 
a week. And if my main goal is to get Zero's chipset, I feel like I should just focus that. Like, I really don't care about anything else right now. Because I want to be able to make the video on Zero's chipset. I think that makes sense. But then again, I want to screw myself. I don't want to screw myself in the long run. You know what I mean? It just seems like I could do Turtle House fast or do everything. At once, but go slower. What is the zero chip set to? It gives you a shield. Using a discharge skill to switch to the current weapon, gain a shield equal to 150% of attack for six seconds. The four piece set. While the shield is active, you and your teammates deal 16% more damage. I want to be able to do this. Because, you know, I already made that video about Zero being a tank. I love Zero. So I want to get his stuff, like, ASAP. You need to level your development center as well as level 9. Right, 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 right. I understand that, NATO. I want to see Barbarossa Frig plus four set zero on Merrill Discharge and see if the damage buff stack. Probably do. All right. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, right now, both my main building and my turtle house are at the same level. So I have to level up my main building first before I can level up this turtle house, right? That turtle house is level five. And my main building, I don't think I got it to level 6. Damn, you gotta get you to level 9? Hey, yo! How did Buddy get his to level 9 already? Or is that on the CN, the Chinese server? Because there ain't no way he gets this to level 9. This shit's only been out for a week. Yo, I don't have enough renovation materials. Oh, because I spent some trying to get the chipset. I spent some trying to get the damn chipset, so I don't have enough renovation materials to, to level up my thing. I gotta wait, which shouldn't be that long. I get heli renovation materials. I killed everything. I absolutely killed everything. Like, I went around farming all the animals yesterday so I could get enough renovation materials so I could craft and fail. Wait, what? I just got an achievement? Hello? I got an achievement for flying? Get the fuck out of here. Tell me why I was farming these one day. Hold on now. Do I have enough? No, I don't. I was hoping I got 200. But I do have 190, though. Am I close to something? Bro, I'm so tempted to try to get an SR chip. I'm super tempted to spend this on an SR chip. But I'm not going to do that, though. I'm going to wait till tomorrow. So I can, um... So I can, uh, buy some, uh... Refresh thingies. Uh, you'll def be the only content creator who's going to do this. So I'd say do it for content. Yeah. Kateo has it maxed out on China already. Yeah, 22 renovation per animal. Time to go hunting. Have you done joint operation achievements yet? I think I've done some. But there are there any like special ones that says clear the operation without killing or something like that?
clear space time training ground difficulty zero time limit five minutes condition no one's hp can fall below what bro i didn't even know this existed no way so you just gotta do this shit super fast Wow, I didn't know these existed. Damn, I'm gonna have to do this. Wow. I'm gonna have to do this now. Now that I know this exists, I gotta do this. Damn. Damn my OCD. Okay, I, I haven't done all this artificial island stuff yet because I haven't really haven't really explored the actual artificial island. Yeah, I gotta do this now. Shucks. You and me both, brother. I just realized they don't give black crystals. Oh, yeah, that kind of sucks. And they said there's nothing to do in the game. Yeah, there's a lot to do in this game. 1K rabbits? Nah, I'm good on that one, bro. I am super good on that one. Alright, so let me do this. This is what I wanted to do, too. I wanted to use whatever materials I got, which I hope I have enough. I am not going to have enough. It only gets to 107. Dude, that's so trash. They, they definitely need to... Like yesterday, I spent all of my vitality farming weapon, matrix, uh, weapon um, enhancement materials. That's all I did yesterday. And the weapon still didn't get leveled up to like 110 or anything. I think that's so dumb. I got a gift? Oh, Ada Cafe is ready to go again. Let's go. Let's see. For whatever reason, I didn't think it was going to be ready for another couple of hours. I'm gonna have to go make some food. Ah, oh, that's tough. What is this? What does this even do? Oh, shucks, the first yawn. I knew I was getting sleepy, but I was hoping it would uh, hold off for a while. I gotta go make some, some juice. Oh, she liked it. Alright. Best girl Huma needs her caterpillar fungus. Change your CHR look? What do you mean? That's just the title, but only others can see it. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Got you. Alright. It's a title. So that's what you get. You get one of those every time you complete the uh Okay, so now I'm not I'm not I'm not tripping up. No I thought it was something special. I don't care about titles. I'll take that 20k gold, though. Hallelujah. Alright, we're closed for business. Alright, let me see if I can't um, enhance some weapon matrices. I'm about to dip, though. It was a nice stream, though, for sure. Alright. 
so many chips that I want to enhance, man. What's the highest level SSR chip that you guys have? Like, what have you enhanced your strongest one to? Because I feel like every time I get something like 50, I'm good. Like, I don't even know what I was smoking getting this to 57 and 56, and I had other stuff to, like, enhance. Like, I keep looking at my, um... What is it? Yeah, this. I want to enhance this. I want to get these to 50s. 60? You put them at 60? Gosh, that's probably why my damage sucks, is I haven't gone to 60 on anything yet. I've been trying to, like, level up everything. Whoa, I got a lot of them. Okay, I can get them to 50. Okay. I'm going to get these to 50 then. I didn't know I had this. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Am I faded right now? Should I do that or should I? Because I got a lot of these weapon chip things, bro. Should I just... Hold up chat I need your advice should I level up these lower SS uh less uh, lower uh, uh, oh my god I can't talk should I level up these lower SR chips or or should I just in anticipation of getting the next one you know what I mean should I do that what do you guys think the the goal is I didn't think about that too bro I, I, I gave up on trying to get more CS. As soon as this shit said the next one's at 42, I was like, whatever. I'm done. I, I don't care anymore. Because I, I was literally nowhere near 42. Like, actually nowhere near 42. Let me see how high I can get my shit. just seeing how high I can get my CS right now. I might be able to do it. Do I do this? Oh, I might be able to pull this off. Hold on now. this year Do I have something higher than 51 no something higher than 50 here no oh wait it's 51 nope that doesn't work
Do you gotta have like chipsets to do it? I guess it doesn't matter if you have chipsets or not. They just have to be a higher level. I don't have anything. 50. Oh, this is 51, so that's a little bit higher. No? I guess it doesn't matter. Hmm? CS doesn't show up, it means you either have the same or lower CS. Okay. Wait, so... The chip has to be leveled up, right? For it to give higher CS. You can't just put a... a, a... Maybe you can. Well, obviously, that's going to be higher no matter what. Okay, so then this. No, no, that's not going to work. Well, either way, I can definitely do it. I just got to level up these chips. What do I get? Wow. Still won't do it, huh? I did it. Okay, so my attack went up, resistance went up, and that's it. That's all I get. Just attack and resistance. GG's. Whoopee. What's up, uh, Matrix? A hey, any uh, recommend build for Shiro? Uh yeah, absolutely. Um I'll show you my Shiro right now, and I'll show you exactly how I build her. Are you done? Doesn't make me happy, though. Alright, so, uh, we're talking about Shiro. Alright, so, 
mattresses that I like to build or put on Shiro. Uh, when it comes to SR, there's a couple different ones. 100% by Ling Fair Trade is probably going to be the best one. Increased damage dealt to Grievous targets by 12, 15, 18% for SR. I like this one because her skill is like a very small like little domain area and you can like trap uh, a group of people in. If I wasn't using uh, this one, I would probably use the Sobek chipset for SR for damage. Increased damage dealt by 6%, 7.5% for each enemy nearby. But that's only if you're like fighting a group of enemies. Now, what I found out with Shiro, if you use her discharge with virtually anybody else's discharge, you're doing serious damage. And you only want to use that in like a group of, of enemies. So I would definitely say the Sobek chipset Barbarossa is trash. Robarg is trash. Yeah, those are the only two I would probably use. Uh, I'm still not quite sure in chat. Maybe you guys can help me out about this. What's the point? When dealing damage greater than 100% of attack, deal additional damage equal to 60% of attack. Cool on three seconds. Dealing damage greater than 100% of attack. I assume that means when you... And I, and I know I'm thinking about this wrong, but just on the chance I'm thinking about this right, I assume that means if I have this chipset on Huma, I get Huma's discharge and I hit it. And I'm doing ridiculous amounts of damage is that gonna compound my damage because i use a discharge skill that's definitely gonna do or am i thinking am i thinking wrong about that no problem sean you're amazed at how many sr chips i have i am too Uh, thank you for the uh, advice there, uh, Barely a Koala. I like your name, by the way. It's like King's one-star skill. The internal cooldown being three seconds makes that very bad. It does damage over time. What's King's one-star advancement? Shit. Increase shatter by 15%. After shattering the target shield, deal burn damage equal to 120% of attack to the target every second, 15 seconds. So it's a DOT? Really? No, sh really? Why doesn't it say damage over time? Bro, I'm, I'm blowed over that. When dealing damage greater than 100% of attack deal additional damage equal to cool down three okay so it's a dot okay i didn't know that how long does the dot last for i gotta go try this out who's a good weapon to try this on because I, I, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I've used it and I've never, like, known, like, what to look for to see its benefit. Who Who's a good weapon to use this on? I don't think it's a DOT, but I've never used that set, so I'm going to step back on that one. Yeah, right? I mean, it, I, 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 I can't, like, disagree with him because I don't know. It might be a DOT. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to equip it to a weapon and, and see. Right now, I got it on my Balmung, so I'll, I'll just use Balmung. You've seen a video talking about it? Okay. 
Well, that that settles it. Ah, oh, shit. That settles it. I gotta learn how to do this and make a video on it. Because there are probably people out there who are just like me. Who have no idea what the fuck this chipset even is. Because I'm completely honest. I have no idea. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take his word for it. But I'm gonna see if it does DOT, though. Let me find something. I think I killed everything in my island. I might not have, though. There might be, like, one or two mobs left over. Actually. Pretty positive there are a couple mobs left over. I saved some for a rainy day whenever I got bored. Yeah. I knew there were mobs still, still left over. Alright, so let's see. I'm not seeing a DOT tick on him. I guess I didn't deal enough damage. Let me let me get a discharge build up. And I'll try it that way. It says greater than. Mm -mm. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't see it. I don't see a dot. So I guess it, it. It might just be what I thought it was. Like if you deal a ridiculous amount of damage, that's more than 100% of your attack score. You're gonna get compounded damage. So, like, let me think about this. Let me look at my weapon. Ah, shit, he's following me. Go away! I don't know you. Okay. So... So I guess this is the actual attack right here. So when I deal damage equal to 100%, hold on, what does this shit say? When dealing damage greater than 100% of attack, deal additional damage equal to 60% of attack. Bro, I have no idea what the fuck that means. Use freak dodge attack. The fourth number is the mattress. The mattress. Is okay. All right. Let's go see this. I think I saw a, a fourth number four. Hold on. I see three numbers popping up, not four. Okay, I, that was because I attacked her. percent is your normal damage if you're dealing greater than 100% aka damage buff. I think that's where you get the additional damage. Go away. Just a warning. All right, 
right, so here we go. He's resisting my damage. I gotta break the shield. Okay, shield is broken. What was giving her D.O.T.? Oh. The King chipset was giving her D.O.T.? Hold up. What do I got on King right now? Nah. What, what the fuck? What was giving her D.O.T.? Oh, King's weapon advancement was giving her DOT? That's probably what it was. Yeah, it was the advancement. Increase shatter by 50%. After shattering the target shield, deal burn damage equal to 120% of attack to the target every second for 50 seconds. That's so OD. That's so fucking OD. King A yeah, it was King A one. Right, that's what I was trying to say, Tactical Tims. One hundred percent is your normal damage if you deal damage greater than one hundred percent of your normal damage. I'm confused as to how I deal more damage than one hundred percent of damage, and that's because of damage buffs. But how do I get a damage buff? That's the part that kind of confused me. Where do I get the damage buff from? And I guess I would get a damage buff from... Frost Resonance increased Frost attack by 15%. Okay, so would this do it? 15%? If I equip two frost weapons, I'm going to get frost resonance. I'm going to get 15% more damage than my 100% damage, right? I'm going to get 15% more. So frost resonance is going to activate this. I saw the mattress damage on your frig discharge, though. It was 1.5k. Okay. Click the magnifying glass. It's damage scaling, not buffs. Damage buff mainly damage increased food and simulacrity. Okay. Your frig damage scale for dodge attack is around 144%. Oh. Oh. I see. Okay, so this is it right here. That's it right there. That's why you were telling me to do the dodge skill. Tap normal attack during a short perfect dodge window to trigger multi-slash. Unleash multiple slashes at a set distance in front of the user, dealing total damage equal to 143.9% of attack plus 454. So that's why you're telling me to do the dodge skill. Dodge skill is going to activate the attack. Or activate the mattress, the, 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 the weapon chip set. The set bonus. And it's going to give me an extra 60% of attack damage when I do this. So I have chip set on. I use dodge skill. I'm going to deal damage equal to 143.9% of attack plus 554, which is more than 100% of attack. And it's going to give me another 60% of attack as damage. Is that right? I am too sleepy to start doing all this math. It only triggers once every three seconds, though. 
Absolutely right. Okay. All right. Let me go try this again. I think there's one. Okay. There. Yeah, this thing's left over. All right. So. I only saw three damage numbers there. Again, just another three damage numbers. One, two, three. Is it because he has a shield on? Because I'm only seeing three damage numbers. Okay, if you use Nemesis backdash attack, it's very easy to see because okay. I'm gonna try that um barely. Shield nerfs all damage by fifty percent. Okay. Oh, there's a, a wild boar. Oh wait, did I did I see a fourth number? One, two, three. Nah, I'm only seeing, I'm only seeing three numbers. All right, let me go. Uh, let me switch to the. Let me switch to this. I want to make sure I understand this, because I think that would be an amazing video to explain to somebody. Because I know if I don't understand it, there's somebody else out there who don't understand shit either. Bro, see, what, what, what I'm talking about, dude. No, 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 Bro, I know I came and cleared out all my animals, bro. There's got to be a quicker cooldown time. Unless I'm just faded and I missed some. All right, uh, let me go to weapons. Uh, switch. Matrices. Alright, I'm gonna try it on Nemesis. And see if that works. You're right, it only has one number, so you'd be able to see it. Shucks. My sleepiness is starting to affect my uh, cognitive functions. Forgive me. All right. All right, let's try it on this. Or, or not. One, two, three. Okay, yeah, I saw the second number. So we got two numbers right there, right? All right, now I'm gonna take the chipset off. And see exactly, hold on. Chat, if this is what it is, you guys are amazing. Just letting you know that. Okay. All right, let me go find this little uh, piggy. All right, there's the piggy. Piggy. All right. Here we go. One number. One number. So that's exactly what it is. It gives you one extra damage. Like one extra damage total. Hold on, I got two numbers right there. Whoa, 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 what's going on? That was one. Why did I get two numbers earlier? What was that about? Am I faded? Fuck on 
to him. Okay. W did you see two numbers? Too many animals wandering around? Wait, wait, what? I can I can change my damage numbers? How do I do that? Yo, why am I getting like extra numbers? Is it because I'm shooting too fast? <laughs> too many animals wander around. I like that. That's too funny. You got too many animals wandering. Oh, I'm sure should be dead by now. I I really thought I cleared everything out. To be completely honest. Yeah, I'm only seeing one damage number. Is he gonna regen his health? Settings, other, it's at the bottom. Okay. Okay. Settings. Others. Wow. Okay, I put it to list. It's gonna show up at the bottom, bottom left hand corner. Guess we can see if he regens his health. Wait, what do I? Did I not save it or did I do something wrong? How do I, oh shit. Oh, the numbers will be spaced out rather than on top. Oh, got you. Okay, so what I should do now, I was looking for it to be on the bottom left hand corner in like a box. All right, so now I switch to the, the chip set and now I can see the damage. All right. Okay. Alright, now I go down and fight Mr. Pig and see the two damage numbers from the chipset. So we know for a certainty that doing the dish or doing the dodge skill only gives one number. Now that I got a chipset on. Only seeing one number. One, two, three. Thoughts one, two, three. One, two, three. Maybe that wasn't exactly three seconds. Hit a combo, you'll see. All right. Yeah, I definitely see the list. Oh, okay. So, one column is the main damage that I'm doing, and the other column is the weapon chip damage? I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. 
That's regular damage, and then when it pops up in the other column, that's the that's the greater than it. So it's 2,077. Shit. Well, it's gonna be a different number every time then. Pretty sure that's it. So wait. Okay. Let me ask you this. And maybe I I think I've I think I've got a handle on it, right? So the second number that pops up on the left hand side. That's the weapon chip damage. And it's going to be 60% of whatever the damage total on the right side is. Right? I don't think it divides them like that. When I use Shiro, it fills them both up with my hold attack. I could be wrong. Damn, she's like a little mouse. So, what I'm saying is, if, like, the number, whatever it is, let's just say I randomly hit 12,000 on the attack. It's going to give me 60% of 12,000. So, 12,150... What's 60% of 12,150? <laughs> it should have been... 7,290. I think it depends on how many enemies you're attacking. I've never noticed it if it's on left or right. I use 2x Huma on Freak, so I always do 6 hits per day. Okay. Well, either way, I can accurately explain to somebody. Well, why is, why is it not activating? One... Two, three. Whoa, what's going on? I got something there. Okay, it activated right there. One, two, three. I don't know, sometimes it won't activate it. With your math, it should be 19,440. Well, either way, I think I can accurately say, without lying to the people... <laughs> you think I'm counting? Three seconds too fast? Probably. So I think I can accurately describe this chipset and be like, okay, so the way this chipset works is that you get a second damage number every three seconds when you deal damage equal or greater than 100% of your attack. So if you have a discharge skill or a... By the beach are the best.
regular skill, such as Fimble Winter, slash the space around Wanderer dealing damage equal to 577.5% of attack, this is 100% going to activate that chipset. And it's going to give you 60% of attack as damage. And this 356 is my attack? I think that's the part where I'm kind of struggling on. Is it says my attack is 356 on this weapon. I guess I guess I never completely understood what it meant by 50% of attack as damage. Did you do your Ada Cafe? Yeah, I just did it actually. And I got 10k and some sort of shopkeeper badge. It's 60% of your main attack stat. Okay, so right here. Right? Where the hell is my main attack stat? Am I faded? I don't see my main attack stat. Is physical attack... Flame attack, frost attack, bolt attack. Where does it show my main attack? Am I slow or do I not see it? Where do you find the information for your main attack? Bro, I've got to be slow. So there's no overall number for your attack. It's whatever your weapon is. So right now, Voltzak, thank you, um, Ichi. You just said it in the chat. I'm using a Volt weapon, so that's why this number is darkened. If I switch to... Baomung... Frost Attack. Okay. So, since I'm doing it on Volt, it's going to be 60% of... 6,248. What is 60... Then why does the number change every single time then? That's the part I'm faded on. 60% of... six thousand two hundred and forty eight. Is 3,748.8. That actually looks really familiar. That actually looks super familiar. So I think that's actually it. Hold up. I gotta find something to kill. And I think I'm all out of things to kill. I got another achievement. Oh, it, there's something to kill. A couple of things to kill. All right. 2,600 and... Oh, because he's got shields on, right? Or does his defense... Does his defense factor in? Crit and buff. In case you're wondering, okay. Game works on damage rolls. Also, it can probably crit since bleed and heals can crit. Got you, got you, got you. I'm so glad we're talking about this so I can actually not sound like a complete idiot. So it's damage rolls. You're going to get different damage every single time. One, 
1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000. Alright. So it only can affect one target? Damn. Yo. It almost seems kind of stupid not to use this chipset. If you're trying to go for damage, is... Because that's giving you extra damage no matter what. Well, every three seconds you're getting an extra damage number. And if you're... This might be the chipset, bro. If it's like that, then, because... Boom, I'm thinking about it like this. It has to be very precise, though, if I'm thinking about this right. And tell me, oh, tell me what you think about this, right? Best. If I use this chipset on King, I wait the three seconds. Three seconds goes by, I use King's discharge skill. Am I going to get extra King damage because I've activated the chipset? Right. I was thinking the exact same thing too, Barely Koala. Like, I feel like Sobek is definitely superior when it comes to extra DPS. Long walks by the beach are the best. So long as you have more enemies around. I feel like one is better than the other in different situations. Because Sobek chipset... Sobek chipset is, is going to be pointless if you're fighting just one target. And I've, I've always kind of felt like increased damage dealt by 6% for each enemy nearby up to three stacks. So if you're only fighting one target, you're only going to get 6% extra damage. But you're always going to get that 6%. I feel like this chipset only really shines, though, when you have a group of enemies. Hmm. I feel like the cooldown might be a problem. I think it will only be one more additional 60% damage tick every three seconds. It doesn't really matter what triggers it. So it's just one extra, one extra thing. Kind of want to test it. Can I hit that won't die? Oh, it sucks. Bro, I'm getting sleepy as fuck. What? Bro, I, I gotta I gotta pass out. Hey, listen, chat. I wanna test this out, but I also have a gigantic headache that's getting harder. Yeah, earlier you hit two mobs, but only saw one. You're right, I did. You're right, I did. I remember that. I remember that. I was actually, I was wondering, that's when I said something like, why is there only one damage, extra damage? Because I hit both of them, it should be two. So it's only going to be on one target. That's kind of jank. But at least it's better than, than nothing. So it's only going to be for one target. So that chipset, then, is only good when fighting a single boss. If we're understanding this correctly. Or single, a single, like, monster. What I've heard, the attack buffs in this game are multiplicative, so Sobek should still be more DPS, right? I assume so. So then, instead of making a video on... How about this? 
what do you think about how do you think this sounds for a, a video which sr chipset is better sobek what is it called or na because they do sort of similar things like do you feel like that would be in, in the video right and i'm thinking about the stuff that i could talk about in the video in the video i can explain what each chipset does so people but i feel like my ultimate goal would be to explain what the NA chipset actually does. So then I'm thinking I could get, instead of making one video, I could potentially make three videos. One video explaining how the NA chipset works, one video explaining how the Sobek chipset works, and then one video of which one's better. They would be very short videos, almost shorts. I don't think I could fit the information in. I mean, I probably could fit the information in one minute, low key 50 seconds, because YouTube like adds two seconds to a short. So it had to be 50 seconds. I don't know if I can quickly put that information in a complete short. So it'd probably have to be a, a like one, a 1.5 or two minute video. Buy Ling's chipset needs a video too. You think so? I I feel like it's pretty. It's pretty straightforward. I mean, I would have fun making the video because I love using um, Claudia. But I feel like this is pretty straightforward. Why not just a long segmented video? For a couple reasons, actually. Um, one, so I could make more content. Um, so the more content I have, the more that my videos are going to be out there or have a chance to be seen. So that's one reason. Um, two, people are normally inclined to click off of a video at the three minute mark. So the information wouldn't be received if I made one long video. I mean, it's not always the case with 100% of people, but watch time is usually around three minutes. So people will click off the video and I won't get all my information out. And I just think that mainly the main reason it would be a more clickable title to have one specific topic so people can click on it and this is what they're getting in this video and they came for this information, they're getting this information. Because when you try to give too much information in a YouTube video, people will tune out. And the goal is to get watch time. And if they came to find, if they saw this video, how to use the NA chipset, they're coming to click on it so they can learn how to use that chipset. And then once they get that information, then they dip. Yeah, uh, let's see. I'd also want to see a Shiro versus Claudia weapon damage test. Oh yeah. You you know I did that right. Uh, let's see. Display capture. Hold up. Wait, hold on now. Okay, so this clip say half is already up. All I have to do is do this. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, here it is. Ah shit. I did not mean to do that. I wanted to do this. I clicked off the stream. I want to do this. Uh forgive me. But uh yeah, you you know I already did that, right? Uh who's better? Shiro or Claudia? You probably didn't see it because it didn't get any views, but I made that video five days ago. Hmm. 
definitely give it a give it a, a, a look. It's not exactly like a full like on like damage test per se, but I did it. And I basically just gave my, you know, whatever of which weapon is better. Honestly though, well I'll let you watch the video. I mean it's pretty Crazy people only watch three minutes. TikTok effect, yeah. I actually never click off a video, so I'm not a part of this. I'm glad of that, uh, HE. I appreciate it. All right. So, damn, I'm going to... That's that's what I'm going to work on when I wake up tomorrow. I'm going to wake up, uh, work on three very quick videos. I can type out the, 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 the thing for that and then give the information about the video. It's only going to be about two or three minutes. So, I can... So, what I'll do is... I'm sorry to, like say this to you but i gotta talk through the process first i can stuff stuff to put into video the intro then i'll say what the chipset is what it does and how to get it and then show it in action on different weapons I'll use three weapons. Hold on. How many different weapon types are there? Volt. One, two, three, four. Okay. So I'll use it on all four weapons. And I don't have to really talk about that. I can say, okay, so this is what the chipset looks like on a physical attack weapon that has an attack of 5,456. 5, and I can say the same thing for a fling. Okay. I can do that. I can do that. I could probably make that into like a four minute video. W. All right, man, listen. Thank you guys so much for all of your help today. I really appreciate it. I would assume the bigger, bigger the single hit you can get for the weapon, the better the enemy matrix is. Oh, I'm glad you said that. Bro, I'm super glad you said that. Where's my mouse? Because that is going to be a huge point to bring up. Something that I would have never thought to say. And I got to remember that you said that. What's my stream schedule? I really don't have a stream schedule. Because I rarely feel this happy, bubbly energy whenever I stream. Because I'm not the best streamer in the world. Because, uh, luckily, you guys have been awesome. Like, you guys haven't... You guys have been, like, the greatest. Like, normally, I, I get people in here that say, like, the most offhanded things. And sometimes they don't even, like, mean well. And I'll take whatever they say as negative. Like, backseat gaming or, why aren't you doing this? Like, and, I, and I'll get... I'll, like, I'll snap on people. So, I try not to stream as, as often. Like, I used to stream every day. But I, I don't have a stream schedule because I, I, I'm not a good streamer. I usually just upload the videos, but today has been a very good stream. I've had a, a lot of fun hanging out with you guys and meeting and talking with you guys. I, I will, I will try. Only thing I can say is I, I will try to like get up enough happy energy to stream again. I hope you can understand what I mean by happy energy. I'm such a negative person sometimes. And I, that sort of rubs off on my streams and it makes people think that I'm just like a really bad person. It's just that I, I don't know. I try to be as cool as possible to people, but sometimes I just get set off by, like, the smallest things. So I try not to stream, like, back-to-back. -back. I used to, though. I guess that made people not like me as much. Because you can never tell, like, who's trolling and who's trying to be a douchebag to you or not. Like, I, I have a hard time with that. Sometimes people mean well, and sometimes they're actually just trying to be rude. And I can, I can almost, like, can never... I can almost, like, never, like, it's finally my turn. tell the difference. Um, but if you want, you can follow me on Twitter. I usually will tweet whenever I'm about to go live. Demon Luck, it says, not going to lie, I'm happy that YouTube recommended your channel to me. Awesome. And so far, I will, thanks, man. I mean, well, even if I'm rude, <laughs> I like chill streams the most, but yeah, internet's full of jerks. Yeah. Uh, b thank you. Good luck on the video. Thank you. Barely a koala. Look, man, I hope to see you guys. Uh, look, I'll try to stream tomorrow, man. I'll, I'll be, I'll be honest with you. 
doing this was so cool. And I feel like I want to do it again because I kind of screwed up. The beginning was kind of messed up. I didn't have the right bit rate on the stream, so it kind of messed up. I wanted this stream to be something where I play for like two hours, run through the content as a support type, so people who wanted to learn how to be a support type, they could do that. I, I, I think every stream I should do should be like on a specific topic rather than just me running around aimlessly and just playing the game and talking to chat. Like I want my streams for this game to like be about something every time I stream. Like this stream was supposed to be about how to play a support type right and me showing, you know, what I'm doing for my support type and then showing whatever. It kind of got sidetracked because I learned about this whole chess situation. So, um, and then everything else that we talked about, I just had a good time. So everything just kind of went all over the place. So I'm probably gonna have to do this again like soon the next one i'm probably gonna do i'll probably do something about maybe fortitude or the balance or something like that or maybe something about how to use chip sets or something i don't know but we'll see uh thanks for streaming thank you for for coming griff i appreciate you and your time man all right uh good night crypto seizure you have yourself a good time man and uh thank you guys this is awesome i'll catch you guys next time peace out chipset for her the best SR chipset I feel like that would probably be the best SR it's, it's definitely out of that it's definitely out of Sobek and NA for sure and that's just DPS <laughs> 